Hey everyone, Captain Amazing here, and today I'm joined with Bones for Between Two Reviews. So, uh, Bones, uh, do you want to talk a little about how you got into uh, into streaming in general? Because I know uh, Star Wars Galaxy Hero wasn't your only uh, streaming, and even right now you do other things like Marvel Strike Force and, and whatever else you got going on, because uh, you do a little bit of variety. So do you want to talk about uh, just like how you became a streamer and, and what got you into it, and uh, even how you got into Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes? Sure, man. Uh, first, I want to thank you for having me on. No one likes to have me on except for you well, you and Eggnards now, so <laughs> I do appreciate it. Uh, I love doing things like this. Uh, collabs are something I try to promote with every every content creator, but I know a lot of people don't have time and all that. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. that's fun. I just want to say, yeah, thanks for coming. Say thank you for that, man. Yeah, yeah no, no problem. problem, brother. Um, God, where to start? Okay, so I lived in Kansas. Um, uh, so I, that's a uh... because of. COVID, that, oh, that's all you have to say. I lived in Kansas, had nothing else to do. <laughs> and here Got I it. Am. So started streaming. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Pretty sorry. much, which, which I wish I would have streamed a lot sooner. I don't know why I didn't. But uh, yeah, we lost our because of COVID. Uh, my the club that I worked at shut down, and so I wasn't able to pay bills. So we got kicked out of my apartment. Um, I had at that time two kids and a girlfriend who's now my wife. Um, so we had to figure something out. So I wasn't streaming at that point, but so we moved to Georgia, later Florida. Um, so obviously at COVID, we had a lot of time. A lot of content creators started during COVID. Mm -hmm. um, I was playing, I've always played Swaga since, since day one. I've always played Swaga, but I wasn't making content on it. But I was playing a game called Dragon Champions, which was a clone of this, like to a T. And um, it was a smaller game. I was more in game than most people in the player base. I had been playing that since day one. Uh, I was in like, I don't know. Do you know who DB official is? Cause he was a Swoga content creator for a while. He was one of the bigger ones. No. Okay. Well he was playing the game. I got in his guild. I just started talking to other content creators just as a player. And it made me think, you know what? I can do this. So I sat down sort of talking to my wife about it. She was very supportive. And if you're going to do this and you have a wife, your wife has to support you or it's not going to work out. I've yeah. talked to people whose wives support it and whose don't. And the ones that don't, don't usually make it very long. Yeah, um, that's true. So uh, she was very supportive. Got into Dragon Champions. I became like the top two or three content creators for that game. Um, <clears throat> and the game just went to, sh went to crap, sorry. And um, it started failing, so I quit. Then I went to Awaken Chaos. Mind you, I'm only doing YouTube at this point. Um, so I went to another game called Awaken Chaos Era. Started playing it from day one. That's when I started blowing up. Like I was getting, I have like 10,000 to me, 10,000 views is a lot. Um, it's a I lot. Like, That's a lot to me too. <laughs> yeah. So I, I hit like six, 700 people. That was like my peak. And uh, I was getting several thousand views per video. 10,000 was my highest. So I was like, it was really good. But that game, I got to the end game right around when everyone else was. So I was still one of the top players, but it was just, it, it, it's, it, that game was a raid clone and raid is a hero collector, but that's the only thing it has in common with Swaga. Everything else is different. And all I was doing was just grinding dungeons. There was no substance to the game once you got to the game. So I quit that. So then I was like, what am I going to do now? And I've always looked up to all the content creators in Swaga. I've always followed them. And I was like, well, I, this is all I have pretty much. Um, so I stopped doing YouTube full time and converted over to Twitch full time. And I went from not making any money to making money in Twitch. And I kind of got started getting addicted to it. I was it's, doing grand arenas and it's very, it's very, very quick to get monetized in Twitch. Right. Like, yeah, it was like, right. Yeah. Cause it, even me, it was like three days I was monetized in Twitch and it was like six months to get monetized in YouTube. That's yeah. Like, yeah. Like night and day. If you, if you know me, you know, kind of how my content goes. If you don't, I'm not like cap. I'm not able to sit down and like break it down to you. ROI it, like tell you where the best things are. I don't even read kids. I'm the guy that entertains you. I'm kind of like Arnold. Arnold can do both. I, I I always say there's two different content creators. Some of them can do both. You're either a informative content creator that just breaks down the info to you and calls it good. Or you're kind of the entertainer where you're just silly, you laugh, you have a good time, you socialize. So I wasn't really made for Swugga YouTube. Maybe other smaller games I, I could do. Um, but like I'm a small fish in a very large sea in Swaga. So it's a whole different animal. So I thought, you know what, this is more for me. I can stream for four or five hours, talk to all the chatters, 
we just socialize, have a good time, play what we like to do. So that started to go more my direction, right? That's where I kind of started leaning to. It was obviously like, you know, where I kind of feel like things are meant to be. Like they just seemed like that path was meant to be for me. Okay. So um, that was, like I said, that was right when COVID started. It all kind of changed rather quickly. So about, when was that, three or four years ago? Okay, um, four years ago. Yeah, so probably three years ago is when I started going Swaga full-time, doing Twitch. And um, also at the same time, I had started MSF when it first came out, which was before COVID. Um, I played that on the side, didn't stream it. Uh, so I just did that for fun, you know, just whenever I could. Um, then like the, the turning point for Swaga when I started getting bigger was some, a lot of newer people don't recognize this name, but a lot of old heads do. Um, the escape podcast, it was probably the biggest podcast in Swaga at the time. Um, it was Paul and Nev, uh, Nev had like a galactic or a grand arena, like, you know, like sports center, but for grand arena, like he had his own thing. And so every Friday night they were the big guys. They had, they were part of the puzzles. They had crumb on many, many times. They would have Heinze, Ram, Bam, every name, you know, they would have on as guests all the time. Like they knew, they knew all these people. Like, I think Paul even made uh, the graphics for Cubs fan Han whenever they would do the, um, what's the show that Ram Bam does with Shaka? I don't think it's them anymore. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, uh no, I, I know what you're talking about. But like, even my, even that guy, he made, Paul made the stuff for that. So he had invited me on to this podcast as a, as a third co host. And like, he made me like a hologram head. So I was like the AI who would fact check them or if they oh, need really? something looked up during the thing. So it, it, it's pretty funny. Um, and then they just, uh, Paul got burned out on it and they quit, which was very unfortunate. But like Arnold came on for the final show. Uh, he had never had Arnold on. Arnold took his time to, like he was even on like, Ar Arnold was like on his phone. So like he took the time to say goodbye to him and everything. And he referenced these guys a lot because they would have crumb on, like they would get reveals. They would get player reveals. They would get news reveals. So they were a big deal. So that's kind of when people started getting to know me. Um, and that's why people will call me Bob sometimes because that was my AI name, which stood for Bones Old Buddy. And uh, so, like, Old Man Logan will call me Bob a lot. Yeah, uh, he does. So, so I, that's how I met Old Man Logan. So, if you guys, so I have two podcasts, but my main one is Three Scoundrels in a Cantina. It's doing pretty well for itself. Um, I think we're we are on our sixtieth episode here soon. Who um, was the um? But, who was Old Man Logan? The one who started it, or you? Yeah, so I'm about to go in it, but just so you guys know, like Three Scoundrels of the Cantina, go check it out. Uh, it's live on Twitch and on all podcast sites. So I met Old Man. Um, okay, so they used to kick me off whenever the guest segment would come on because Paul had this like a fucking TV. Or, sorry, sorry for the cussing. That's I'm <laughs> I'm really bad about that. Uh, he had it set up like a TV show, so he had commercials in between. Uh, actual sponsorships, and then he would have segments set to a T. So there would be a 30-minute guest segment, and um, they would usually kick me off for that. I don't know why they did that. Um, maybe because of all the setup. He had everything pre-set up for it, and maybe... I, I don't know. Um, so I never really got to hang out with the guests. Sometimes I did, sometimes I didn't. But um, they'd have Old Man on, but his podcast was The Old Man's Cantina. Yeah. And... Um, like the se like second or third time he was on there, he was like, when do I get to meet Bob? And I think I was on like behind the scenes, like on Discord. He's like, Bob, we need to get you on our show or whatever. Uh, I guess they liked me or whatever. I'd never talked to him before. So then they brought me on All Man's Cantina, uh, and I did a guest spot on that. I just got to know them, right? Yeah. The Escape Podcast left, like and they stopped, and then – we all kind of got together, Paul, me, old man. And we got together and was like, Hey, let's form our, let's merge these together. Mm -hmm. Right. And so we all helped each other and it stayed old man's cantina. I became the third person and it wasn't Avant. It was Kane at the time. And um, so it was still old man's cantina, but Kane ran everything. Like I run it now, but uh, Kane ended up leaving the show. Then we had to revamp everything. So we brought Avant on, created a whole new channel, created everything from scratch. And we, then, then we called that three scoundrels in a cantina. Don't know where we, we just thought up of some ideas. There's not a lot to the thought of that process. We just called it three scoundrels in a cantina. 
and that's where we are today. Um, it's actually doing great. It's taken off better than I ever thought it would be. Um, it's, it's created a cool community. Um, so definitely go check that out. But that's pretty much where I'm at now. I stream on my own four or five times a week. Um, it does pretty good. Um, I got, you know, um, I'm not saying like I'm a staple or anything because I don't make YouTube videos, but it is a good time. We, we just chill. We talk and we play Swaga. And we play Marvel Strike Force afterwards. I try to play other games, but you know, there's not enough time in the day really. Um, and then I do three scoundrels every Thursday. And then we also started like an international three scoundrels uh, podcast that we do every Saturday um, at, in the mornings for me in the U.S. And because I, I I find the more I play, the more players I get get to know and more content creators I get to know, uh-huh. I can't have them as guests because they live in. Well, like you, like people live in Japan, some people live in China, some people live in Australia, some people live in the UK, and it, it's a lot of the player base, and it's a lot of the content creators. So I was like, man, I need a podcast where I can get some of these guys on that can kind of cater to these kind of people, because these these people, <laughs> the, yeah, these people. Yeah. No, I I, yeah. I will say that I I had a lot of fun because I it took me a long time to get on your podcast because. When you guys like when it's playing, I'm at work. Like it's it's still Friday. It's like the middle of the afternoon for me. I'm I'm working. I can't just like, hey guys, I'm gonna leave so I can be on this podcast. But the, you know, we had <laughs> yeah. we had a federal holiday. I had Friday off, so I was able to get in. Um, barely, barely got in because you said no. <laughs> you said I was like, hey man, you've been trying to get me on. And you're just like, actually, nah. I don't I don't think we want to to get you on there. Um, <laughs> but I I, I kind of like went around you talk to old man luke right and then he's like this needs to happen so <laughs> no. and you have been known as one of the best episodes we've had so we're, yeah, we're gonna get you fun. on again too when you can because it was a fun time it's fun it was fun i i really i, I would say the the best thing about that for me was just like because i never really interacted with old man luke so getting to talk to him i think was really cool he's a really cool guy i um, really like him so i i didn't like because I, I interact with you in discord and everything but he's He's like, he stays in your Discord pretty much. I haven't seen him much well, at all. So he's a very busy guy as yeah. well. We, mm-hmm. You all are. I mean, yeah. I'm not that busy. I just do the content cream stuff. But um, he does all kinds of stuff. And yeah. so he doesn't even have time to come into Discord. Yeah. And I we give him a lot of crap. But like, you could tag him in Discord and he won't get back to you for four or five days. So mm-hmm. it's pretty much, he shows up 15 minutes before the show. Um, and this is nothing against anyone. Like he, no, it's just, no, he's busy and, and he's an older guy, right? He, he's yeah. not into technology. He's probably not into the whole discord thing. Let's, let's be honest, but he does love the show and he, he does love the community. He just doesn't do discord really. Yeah. So he shows up, does the show and just leaves. And, uh, sometimes I can get him in the DM, but even in DMS, I can't get him to respond. So well, he did, he know, did, uh, I think he DM me originally. Like before I was on the show, before I said I could, he like DM me and was just like, Hey, I, I would love, like, let me know. I, I want to get you on here. And maybe cause I'm, I'm in there and maybe he, I don't, well, I don't I, know how, if he knew me or if I was just like interacting with you or, um, maybe so, I was, so maybe I'll, I was like just roasting you from the side. Like I usually do. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, who's this guy roasting bones on the side? I, I need to get him in here. That could be it. That could have been yeah. it. I'm not sure. But I mean, he does. I don't know. I don't know what he does, but I do know that he watches YouTube. Mm-hmm. So he probably knew you from YouTube or something because like we're trying to get asteroid mech on rabid beaver. There's a lot of people we have our eye on that. It's either hard to get a hold of, or they just, some people just ghost me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like I've gotten a whole lot of people and they just don't even answer back. Like yeah. ginger Jesus, me and Eggnards are trying to get ginger Jesus on just not to like be mean to him. Like we just, we want all and everybody. If you're a yeah. content creator or just known in the community, we want to get you on and talk, you know, you and Egnar just know how that goes. You know, Egnar yeah, is I the do. tales I of the hollow table. So, yeah, because I, I, um, I, um, because I'm, I'm gonna do this in like a day or two with Asteroid Mech. So he's one of my next guests that I'm gonna. We've we scheduled a time to like sit together and and do this with. Um, you should and, hook a brother up, man. Yeah, I always I'll, try I'll, to connect with. It. Yeah, I let him know. Up. I was like, hey, this okay. this shady guy Bones may message you. <laughs> it may seem a little weird. Uh, you should give him your time. Uh, no, but uh, he's on the top of our list. He's on the top of our list to get on the show for sure. Yeah, and then I, I meant I, I was supposed to do something with Rabbit Beaver, but it, our times just being in Japan are really difficult because he he did like a subathon, but then he let me know when it was like 
my, I was at work and I was just like, Hey dude, sorry. Like <laughs> I, I'm at work. I'm going to be at work. And then when I, when I wake up, it's like you're, you start, but then I, I work for, you know, 12 hours and then I, I get off and you're finishing. So <laughs> just wasn't able to make it work, but yeah, I, I get it. Like it's pretty, pretty hard to, when you reach out to people to make things work, Cause yeah, I, I think especially in our community, very one of the best communities I've been involved with, especially with the content creators, like really nice people. I, I very few people, maybe just uh, the there's just Matthias. Matthias, right, has been uh, the, aggressively for no reason. I don't know. <laughs> the only one. He's a yeah. he's a very aggressive person. I, yeah. I, I'm still learning how to deal with him, but yeah, I don't, yeah. I, don't I don't even understand what happened. I've never talked to this dude, and he's like, "And Captain Amazing, f you." I'm like, I don't I don't even know who you are, dude. Like I'm not, I don't know. Like I've never, never heard of you before. Nice to meet you. I don't know why you're yelling at me right now. Um, yeah, we need to get you on. We need to get get you guys. He needs to get to know you. That's that's the problem. I think some people just get a pre. I, I'm sorry, pre but your your other one just doesn't hit the same as uh as three scoundrels. <laughs> like it doesn't. Yeah, I, I, it doesn't hit the same. Uh, but you know what's what's weird is like I've had people say, "Hey, I'd rather watch." Uh, the the Aussie one over uh, three scoundrels. Well, I, I like um, Oz, I think Aussie Mike seems like a really nice guy. I'd, lo I'd love to get to talk to him. You guys have the Lost Womp Rat on a lot. I really like well, he, him. He's, a really he's now nice a co-host. Oh, is he? He's now officially part of it. Yeah, because okay. he's been, he's been on there more than our real co-host Matthias. Because oh, Matthias is, is also he's also in the military. So he, there's the times where he can't do it. Yeah, yeah. Um, so um, uh, now so, I you know, Womp Rat. Is he, does he awesome. live on does he live on the east coast god i think he I, lives yeah yeah I, towards I, the east coast he that's, lives that's why me. that's why i say i never want to work in the east coast of the military because on the overseas west coast you get people like me who's like really relaxed and chill and on the east coast you get a bunch of matthias's running around just yelling at each other and you're just like chill out dude calm down <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah um yeah, I like I said we got we got to get a thing set up for you, and you need to come hang out with us because it ain't that bad. Uh, I don't know what his problem is, but I, sh I probably should. I, it's I, it's more in line with my my schedule than all the other things I did. So may, maybe uh, no promises right now, but um, even with I'll, me, like me and him have gotten huge arguments. And I'm like, dude, you just need to chill out. It's, it's no, okay. I, I I I honestly have no problems with him. Um, that, that's not why I'm not on your podcast. <laughs> okay. it's, it, it really is um, timing for me because it, it's pretty late on Saturdays. Saturdays, right? Yeah, Saturday. Yeah. yeah. So what time is it? So it's 8 a.m. for me in the mornings. What time so is it for it, you? It starts at like 9 p.m. or something. But oh. the weekends is when I like catch up on my sleep because I'm like dead tired. And that's that's why like legitimately I sleep at like 9 p.m. Like I'm, I'm in bed usually. <laughs> Like believe right. it or not, like I'm. I'm a I don't old, blame you, man. I'm. I'm an old soul. Like, and and the Marine Corps really takes it out of you. So on, like, I, I try Friday, Saturdays, Sundays. I try to like, cause I, I can control that. Like uh, during the, my week, a lot of times I I don't have the flexibility. Like the military just is is inflexible, and and it's like we're gonna give you five hours, you know, and that's that's just what I get. So, um, well, I want to commend you for doing all that and content creating at the same time, because. I don't hide this. I'm in, I'm unemployed and it still takes up a lot of time. It does. Um, it does take up you know, a ton so of time. I, I'm amazed that you stream, that you make videos because it takes a long time to do that. It does. Do you create your, like your own thumbnails and stuff? Do you edit all your stuff yeah. on your own? Yeah. I don't, I don't like, have anyone who helps me on anything. Like that drives me crazy. The thumbnails uh, and mine look like crap and I'll spend like 30 minutes on one. Honestly, no. uh, well, it doesn't take me that long to make them. I have like, I don't know, eight templates or something. And depending on the series, I just like change it. I, you can use AI for a lot of the stuff. So I just like use AI and, and it's usually while I'm editing and, um, and the videos like processing, then I'll like, okay, let me go over here and start like messing with it and create the thumbnail. So it, it like, yeah, it's, it, it does. It, in the beginning, it took a long time to figure out everything and learn like, all this stuff like um you know obs stream labs stream elements yeah. um all, all like the technology twitch youtube how to like do all these things you know sound video 
um, editing, thumbnail creation. It's it's a lot. Like it is an absolute yeah. lot. Like even if like titles, <laughs> you know, like believe it or not, yeah. like people ti- like thumbnails and titles, people won't click on things if if it's not like appeasing enough or you know, and then like you have to be like consistent with your and that's why I have the templates because if they if it's different than what they're used to, they may not know it's me and then you know, if they're like, oh, here's uh, this series always looks like this. And it's like, oh, I, I like that guy. I like that series. Let me watch that. So I, you're not wrong. Like if you saw my thumbnails, you'd be like, yeah, I'm not clicking on that. You got to have your face on there. You got to have those bold arrows pointing yeah, it to something. I, I do, I do hate that. Type. I do hate it because I'm like, <sighs> you know, or like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, and it's, and it's like so dumb. Like, man, I hate it. But it, there, there's it some stands, kind of it catches it, where... it catches the eye it, it, and that's it yeah. like it catches the eye and i i hate doing it um but I, it doesn't bother me one i know some people have been like uh they, they comment like why do you look so dumb on your thumbnails or you know i was like <laughs> but you clicked it <laughs> yeah <laughs> and you know what like i agree with how it's dumb but you know what i'll i'll click that over like i said if you saw my thumbnails i would click yours over mine well, mine, you know, mine I'm aren't just scrolling through. Mine aren't that great. Like a lot of if like now that I know the technology side, a lot of people use like um, I don't know if they're using like GIMP or Adobe Pro, but you can tell because if they have like the outline, like the shining outline, um, if they have like a lot of times there'll be like dividers, and then there'll be pictures within the dividers. Um, that like separates it and it's just like these things that you learn like oh they use adobe pro so like the 99 percent of content creators use like adobe pro to like really yeah. really just but i i don't use that i use i think i use canva um, i was just about to say you also know when someone uses canva because there's yeah. certain popular fonts that people use yeah because so i've only used canva is all i've ever used well it's, but, it's uh, i use canva because it's free and then adobe pro is like it's very expensive it's like 30 dollars a month or something and and oh. maybe at this point I, I could do it but when i was like okay i make like negative 20 dollars a month doing this so i, I don't want to make negative 50 dollars a month <laughs> so i can like make thumbnails that you know but i i've since I, I think well, your guys i think yours are fine well, i wouldn't I, Changed I've it. learned I've learned that um, people I, I don't think people care too much on like the style or whatever as long as it could be associated to you and once like people associate those thumbnails to you and they like you and they're willing and the big thing is like are people going to give you a chance like if your thumbnails aren't like professional looking enough or you know you don't have your your logo and your intro and all these other things like right are people going to give you the chance to see if that's if you're a content creator that's worth watching and that's it i think is capturing those people that don't know you because once you build a viewership like they're going to watch your stuff even if your thumbnails like objectively are bad um but like no no, you're you're right you're completely right about that but like you said you got to the people who don't know you, you got to pull them in. And yeah. unfortunately you got to do the O face or whatever. <laughs> I think, I think putting your face on the thumbnails mm-hmm. is probably the most important thing. I Oops. need to learn how to do that. Cause I want to get back into YouTube, but I think, I think my thumbnail game is what's keeping me from uh, getting into clicks. Unfortunately. What's well, it's, it's, it's no, I can show you. It's not too hard. That, that part's really easy. It's just, if I want to like go through the process of doing it. So um, but it's, it, it's not, you'll, you'll have to show me because I do want to get back into YouTube. So yeah. you might have to, yeah, I, I can show you how I, course. yeah, how I do it. Yeah. No problem. Okay. Um, but yeah. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, but let's yeah, jump man. into this. Uh, let's jump into this review. So you're, you can go ahead, take the wheel and start the first one. And then I, I know you've done, I, I know roster reviewing isn't like your main thing, but go ahead and uh, give me what you got, whatever you want to say. I've done, I've done my fair share. Okay. So, uh, I, I can kind of, I'll guide you in the right direction, Cap. Sure, um, lead me. So I'll kind of just do, I'll just kind of like show you how I do roster views, I guess, because everyone's different, right? All content creators give different um, advice mm-hmm. depending on where everyone's at. Obviously, the first thing you look at is GP. Um, when you look at GP, you're kind of like, okay, or you ask them GP. You also ask them, what are you working on? Mm-hmm. And you also ask them, what do you want, where you want to go from here? So you kind of have an idea where their thought process is. Cool. Um, I'm mean, like, like Eggnards has a whole application. It's just, that's mm-hmm. the third, that's the first three questions I asked them. Right. Sure. Do you want, um, do you want me no to matter answer? what their GP is. Do you want me yeah, to answer well, those questions? 
Sure. So let's go look at your GP first. Okay. You are 9.5. So what are you working on now, Cap? I'm working on uh, quad the quad mate team. So I like they're I've been passively getting signal data because I've been farming the shards for uh, uh, the uh, pad one ob one master Qui Gon. So I I just got pad one ob one to seven stars, and I'm trying to get master Qui Gon to seven stars right now. Um, and then my quad may my quad may pad one ob one are R three just through like passive, you know, signal data accumulation, and then. Um, finishing Master Qui-Gon. I'm going to take them both, Master Qui-Gon, Pad 1 Ob1 to R9, and then Queen Amidala probably to R7. Um, who are you going to use for the 4th and 5th? I don't know, whoever. Whatever works. Yeah. Um, just are you going to use your 3PO? I know that breaks up some other... No, like no I, I, use, I still use CLS, because CLS, uh, can, they can take out some good stuff still. Um, believe it or not, like they take out a uh, Keller and Beck teams, they take out uh, Qui Gon teams on in GAC. So I, I still think they're worth it. They, there's other things that they take out that are are really good. Um, now that the Gungan, um, pretty soon the Gungan uh, Datacron will dust, and I I think CLS was a reliable counter for non um, like Boss Nass or Jar Jar um, Datacron. So they could do something like that. So I, I think they're worth keeping. And I know some yeah. people do like Toxic Leia or whatever, um, but I, I do think that I, I'm, I don't plan on, at least where I'm at, I, I don't plan on breaking them up because I still need them. No, I do CLS. So have you, how long have you been playing? Uh, okay. So do you want me to teach you how you can find out? Yeah. Okay, so like if, you, if you back, hit the back arrow right there. So you go to the stats. Just click that middle button, uh, stats. Okay, stats. Yeah. Okay, so that's where you see like galactic power character ships. And if you scroll down just a little, just a little, yeah, uh, a little more, a little more. There you go. So galactic war battles one, you'll see 12,200. So it's 4,400 a year. So it's close to three. It's, it's just like, for me, it's like two years, nine months or something. If you do the mental math for it, but it's 4,400. Um, galactic war battles in a year um, if you do your dailies every day so roughly I've been playing a little under three years so two years nine months I, I did not know that sorry for my I have no, too many no, it's people fine. in my house so um, that, that's how you figure it out as when you do reviews that's what I do so usually I'll tell people I'll look at their their GP their character or their ships and then I look at their galactic war battles and be like hey you played this amount of time I never knew that, man. That is such an awesome thing to learn because in Marvel Strike Force, I get a lot of crap talking about Marvel Strike Force. There's a lot of things they do good. Um, they, one of their achievements is like every day you log in, it tells it like you've been log you've logged in for 375 days or 3,000 yeah. days or whatever. Yeah, they just so tell that's you. really easy to tell. Yeah, so I wish they had something like that. But that's good to know. That's really cool to know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, for four years, I've been playing for eight years, man. And my do you want me my to account. Do you want me to Let's tell you my ally code? Because you just blacked out. <laughs> oh, crap. <What> That's <laughs> fine. I can tell you. Uh, 382. Okay. 621. 621. Okay. 897. 897. Okay. My bad. No, it's uh, fine. I need, I need to copy and paste it. Um, but yeah, that, I don't know what I was about to say, but that's really cool to know because I want to know myself. But I've been playing for eight years. When you see mine, it's like, it it's almost looks like yours. Um, but we'll talk more about that when we get mm -hmm. to mine. Um, so anyway, so yeah, uh, what are you going to do after quad may? Uh, so I'm, I'm finishing, I'm, I'm side farming Leia right now. So like I, I will, I should get Leia pretty quick after that. I'm a, I always look at ships first, mm -hmm. but yeah, you're, you're good on ships. Um, even when you're brand, mostly a brand new account and they want to start farming a GL type thing. I always say profundity first job a second and then Leia third. You could do I, like some star killers or Jedi cows. I've, I've well, thought of, but, I've uh, thought about it, and here's why I'd, I'd say executor first because, um, like both are good, right? Like executor's good, profundity's good, um, pretty comparable in what they can do. Uh, but the reason why I I say executor first is you have to farm the bounty hunter ships to get the Millennium Falcon, anyways. But then now you have to farm those bounty hunter ships. You also now have to farm all the rebel ships. So I, I, I think uh, where if you just farm Executor, it's like one or two more ships in, other than those bounty hunter ships that you have to farm anyways. And that's why you, and then um, it just leads to, I think, 
a smoother transition to uh, assault battles because I, I think Imperial Troopers should be your first assault battle team that you farm just because it's so quick after you get the executor. You just need to farm some gear 12 and then one uh, dark trooper and then boom, you have all the assault battles. So I, I just think it flows really well executor into whatever else than, you know, rather than profundity. Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't disagree. So what turns me off of the executor is a, you have to do an entire um, bam. You have to farm bam. Right. So it's a whole nother legendary. You have to farm mm -hmm. for him. And what makes me mad is they don't tell you that. You have to almost figure that out or have someone tell you well, that. You, but if you're a new character and you're going for executor, you won't realize that until, until you start looking into things. Well, because you have uh, to farm the Razor Crest and he's the pilot for the Razor Crest. Yeah, but like if you're new, you, you don't know that. I'll, I'll you know say what, I mean? what the most common mistake I see, though, is they'll farm like a four star tie bomber or something like that. <laughs> and they're like, that's the requirement to unlock it is four stars. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, to do the first the first like yeah you have access to it but you could only do like the first event you gotta you gotta seven star all of them to get through the whole the whole thing they're like yeah what? And that's misleading yeah yeah so, that, so that's like the most common one i've seen and i i feel like some even some content creators i'm not talking about you or anything but like some content creators that do ross reviews i think sometimes they forget what it's like to be a new player and so they're kind of out of the touch with that they expect you just to know things because you know them um so yeah, I've saw that too, where people just think, oh, all I need is four star. And I can see why that's being misleading. Mm -hmm. But yeah, like you got to think like just because BAM's needed, they may not know that BAM's a legendary or anything like that. I've, um, I've never heard a player say that. Like I, maybe that's I mean, just like, and I've, I've reviewed mm -hmm. a lot of new players too. I've never once heard someone say, I didn't know I needed to farm BAM. I mean, not, I don't necessarily either, but whenever I'm talking about it, that's the first thing I say, right? Mm -hmm. um, but that's kind of why I, I say that to detour them from doing it. Mm -hmm. um, also, here's another thing is, <clears throat> obviously not this year, we're, we're not getting a, I don't know if we're getting a capital ship, but the meta isn't changing this year when it comes to ships. Yeah, but early, next year, early next year, yeah. We all know it's going to change, however they do it. Mm -hmm. I believe it's going to be just a legendary maybe, ship. Maybe. I, I don't I don't think it's going to be a capital ship. What? Um, but yeah, I don't think it's going to be a capital ship. I think, well, for example, I'm not saying this is my prediction of exactly what ship or fleet is going to be, but let's say it is Red Five. You're, okay. You're, you're th well, it would probably be more. It would more be in line of Lucian's ship. Lu I, I can see that. Luthen, yeah, Luthen, Luthen, right? Luthen. Yeah, yeah, Luthen. Yeah, so um, it'd be like would, would he be counted as a rebel? Red. Luthen's Would he be rebel. counted as a rebel? Yeah, he's yeah a rebel. okay. So hear me out. We've been wanting Red 5 for several years. Yeah. Me, heads troll us about it. They, they know that we want Red 5. Yeah. Um, I don't think that there's going to be an Ahsoka raid. I think the next raid is going to be a ship raid. I think um, you're smoking Le Crac. <laughs> <laughs> there's hey, no way. It's not going to be a ship raid. It's, this is why uh, I it's like gonna, hanging out with you. It's, it's gonna be it's gonna be a, an Ahsoka raid. It's gonna be Balin Skull and Ahsoka, hundred percent. Like if you look at the timelines of when it's supposed to be, it falls in line. Like Ahsoka's gonna be the premium thing. There's because they they need a premium thing, right? So, and mm -hmm. how much time do we have? Like six ish months until the next raid. Probably. So, yeah. what's coming out in six months? Like that is gonna be able to be released in that time. Like nothing's yeah. like. Pretty much Balin Skull and Ahsoka, that's their time. So they're going to be the two premium teams for that, um, just like Quadme and Gun Gungans are right now, I think. You're probably right. Yeah, I, I don't disagree with that. But let's, let's throw the whole raid idea out the window. Sure. We're going to get a new ship. Um, I think, I just don't think there's enough ships for another capital ship. I know that they can drop some more. You can do the galactic thing or whatever. But I just see them, they can make more, I don't know, they can make just as much money by putting a Red 5 probably even have a marquee Luke and a new marquee Luke. I know there's a bunch of that already is put him in the red five, make him needed um, and just make it like the MILF, like how the millennium Falcon was. Um, um, yeah. I'll say this. With red like, five. I, I would think like if, if I was going to do red five, I would make it as a legend, like same thing like millennium Falcon, but like really tough requirements and we would do it, you know? But yeah. Like, like, like 
like make it a GL ship. Like I'd still do it. I don't know how that would be done, but make it make. I don't know. I don't yeah, know how. I, yeah, I do, who, who knows? I who knows what? I, and that's I think part of why they haven't done uh, the Red Five is because they just don't know how to do it. Like, how can we really like monetize it? It's kind of like too big of a of a thing for them. And it's like, okay, well, if we do it, what, where do we go from there? Like what's, what's left? And I, I think maybe they're saving it as like a Trump card in case like, Hey, we need something big. We need big money. We need like 10 year anniversary or something. Like it's too big to just randomly drop in a nothing year and nothing happening kind of thing. So. Yeah, I agree with that. Cause they definitely have those back pocket cards where mm-hmm when they need to pull something out when they don't have any ideas or they need to buy themselves some uh, time. So I agree with that. But I mean, they could do it with like Luthen, like what you're saying. Remember, Leviathan had two conquest characters. It was Malgus and he was a pilot for, I call it the furry class. Um, so you could do that with Luthen in his ship. And then, um, and you could wait a long time for that ship so that when it's closer to the next year, you could, you know, you don't need the ship right now. Um, but you could have the legendary, you could have the two conquest characters that, that phases out the beginner game that now makes it an, an in game only fleet. Um, it just makes sense to me that way, but you, you could be right. They could wait for a long time before they do that. Um, I just think they, and maybe that's, maybe that's what they'll do for not this coming raid, the next raid, but the one after that they will have, I, I just think people would love to have a ship raid. I think you have enough ships to do that. It's still for a beginner game. It's hard to farm ships. None of them are accelerated. I don't think so. You know? I don't think so because uh, there's just not enough. Where because how would you make it like a requirement? You know what I mean? Like relic nine pilots. You know, but we have like pilotless ships, and I I, I just I, I don't think it makes sense right now because how would they monetize that? I don't know. That's a good question. Yeah, well, I, I, like I was saying, like I'm, they'll probably have the pretty thing. What I'm saying is like the next one because people are begging for a raid. Because I, I mean, I, I think I think they could do a ships based <laughs> thing. You know what I mean? Like I, I, I don't, I don't dis like they, just like they did the speeder bike. I think they could do like kind of like a ships, you know, like trench raid on the the Death Star kind of thing. But I, I still think it would be the same thing where it'd be like characters, and then they would just have like ships with abilities that are like are unique. Just like the speeder bike raid, except now instead of the speeder bike, it's just ships and they're like flying through something. So I, I don't think it's it's possible. I just don't think it would be like the ships that we see on that screen right there that you're looking at. It would be characters yeah. and then they would like create ships for us based on whatever. Yeah, I mean, if it was if the, let's just say this was what's happening, you know, they would have. I don't think we've had a marquee ship in a very long time, but they can go back to marquee ships. They could do the the galactic chases. They could set it up to where it's still uh, profitable for them. Um, yeah. There's a lot of ships, man, that aren't in this game. B wings, A wings, um, Forlom and Zuckus's ship, Dengar's ship. Like I can name a lot of ships, and you can even go into like lore. There's a lot of ships, you know, like that aren't necessarily movie ships that you could go into. They, they can bring into the game. Um, yeah. I, I think that's, so. Uh, that's but, why I was thinking of Red 5, a B-Wing and an A-Wing, and a Luthan ship. Like, I'm in. I'll take all my money. I have no money, but take yeah. it. I'll go get a loan, because that would be fun. But, uh, I don't know. Um, but, well, it's, it's, that's why I like talking to you, because we do have different opinions about things, and uh, it does make me think about stuff. But, either way, I think there's going to... So, going back to the executor, why I kind of go against it nowadays, is because I, I get that there's R9 and Profundity. But I'm not going to go do it because I'll have to type type in your thing again. But if you go look at the Profundity's requirements, they're all older characters. Um, so there's not really a lot of bad uh, there's not a lot of bad requirements. And some of those carry on to other things. I think there's some that are in the Profundity requirements that go into Leia, I think, maybe. Maybe Hera. Hera. I don't yeah. know. Um, and then also... Um, Dash into uh, Starkiller. Yeah. Yeah, so there's something that kind of help you out. But so my problem with executor is so we're talking about the next fleet. No matter what, we know there's going to be a new meta here in six to eight, ten months. Um, that knocks executor down already. There's so many counters to executor. You can finalize it. You can malevolence, and I don't, of course, all other I, things. I don't think so. I don't think executor is going to lose worth because we need six fleets. 
six. There's I don't think three, it's going to be like. There's three I don't GL think it's fleets. Be go away. So it's it's like saying I could see where someone would say like finalizer or malevolence is going to fall off, right? Because like negotiator with Marauder, Leviathan, Profundity, Executor, Chimera, like pretty solidified as just like top, right? So that's mm-hmm. one, two, three, four, five fleets. The sixth one, usually Radis, Malevolence, Finalizer, maybe Executrix or something. Like, so that sixth one of saying, like, I think Malevolence is going to fall off. Like, Finalizer already fell off. Rad- Radis pretty much fell off. Malevolence is probably like the sixth best. If you had, a, if, we, if I had to rank them, I'd probably rank Malevolence above Finalizer and Radis, even yes. though Finalizer. Sure. And Redis both can technically beat the executor where malevolence you would have to preload it. But I think malevolence has flexibility in beating things like negotiators and, uh, you know, like Chimera or, or like being a great cleanup ship. So, uh, so but- I don't think it's going to fall off. I just I think if you take the time and just go profundity, you'll get more use out of it for a longer period of time. Um, like, like I said, there's no wrong answer. I don't want you to think like but I disagree, but they're but both I like. They're both end game viable, so you're going to use them both for the same amount yeah. of time. But I feel like let's say let's say every a thousand people start on day one at the same time, so you're all in the same shard. Mm-hmm. If you go for for profundity over the other nine hundred ninety nine going for executor, you're most likely going to have an easier time for a much longer time sitting at number one. Well, here than if if everyone went went for executor. Let's talk about this thing. So let's say you and I farm at the same time, right? Like Uh I go my farming pathway, I go executor, I use my get to, I farm my malevolence. You use your um, whatever, you go profundity, use your get to, you get malevolence, right? So I can use my malevolence to beat your profundity like just straight up, right? Oh, I've never tried that. So I, yeah. Yeah, like okay. uh, you use uh, you use the Thai bomber as your first reinforcement. So just straight up, you and it's okay. it's pretty reliable. Like it's very reliable. So eighty um, percent or something. I don't know if you have the relics right, like relic seven, like the relics I do. You bought the Geo Lightspeed bundles. You have a JMK level Grievous, um, and so you just reinforce with the bomber. Boom, uh, profanity counter like malevolence. You would have to. Uh, you'd have to burner executor use all their abilities and then you can counter it so i have like a strategic advantage over you where you have a gl level ship that gets beat by a get two ship very reliably where for executor most players don't even know how to beat it like it's going to carry you into at least a rhodium or kyber before players start beating it reliably so I do want to clarify that when I say profundity, I'm not thinking about Gek at all when it comes to that point. Because I'm just thinking of your 400 crystals to kind of. But they're they're know, comp- they're comparable. Your... They're they're comparable yeah. in Fleet Arena. Like an Executor yeah. and Profundity can do the exactly the same things um, in Fleet Arena. Like you want to you want to use Executor to counter Leviathan, you can do that. You want to use Profundity to counter Leviathans, you can do that. You want to climb with both, you can do that. Like they can beat each other. Uh, they they can like so they're they're comparable. The difference is like executor in my opinion is the better defensive ship, and profundity is the better offensive ship. Where you want your first GL ship, just like your first GL, to be on defense. So it'd be like if you farm JML as your first GL, and then you throw him on defense, and you're like, this guy sucks. He never gets me holds. It's like yeah, because you farmed an offensive gl and you have to put them on defense and it's not going to perform as well where same thing you get the profundity you put that on defense may not hold as well as your executors yeah no i i think those are all good points i I don't disagree um that's why i say i think it just i try to tell people (laughs) i will like give them advice and they're like well this guy told me to do this and it's like well you gotta kind of have to take everyone's advice and kind of just decide on your own you know um which yeah, generally, there's no really these days. There's no wrong answer. There might be a more efficient answer, but um, they have done a good job. CG has of like with the journey guides of kind of allowing you to do what you want. Because um, sometimes, if there's a person that doesn't know what the hell they're doing, and you can tell them all day, but they're still kind of confused. Uh, the one I'll just say, hey, 
the one I'll thing say, I hey, don't... just go through them and get the, the easier characters. This may not be the most efficient way, but just go get CLS and Palpatine so, and Yoda and the Revens and just so, start to learn the game. So there's know? one thing I don't agree on. So in that journey guide. So I, I talked to someone and they're like, they farmed Jedi Knight Calcastus. And I was like, why the F did you farm Jedi Knight Calcastus? Like you're you're not ready for him whatsoever. Like there's nothing here. You don't have Night Sisters. You don't have, you know, like you don't have anything that can be used with these. That he didn't even have like good Jedi or anything. And he's like, oh, I just went on the journey guide and I went from like top to bottom. And like you're it goes like, you know, CLS, yeah. like like it's like one three hundred or whatever. Like it, it has it based on GP from top to bottom. And the top ones make sense, like Emperor Palpatine, R two D two, CLS or whatever it is. I don't, I don't remember exactly what's up there, but it makes sense. Um and then it's like Jedi Knight Calcestis. And it's like no, like Jedi Knight Calcestis is not like a one million GP farm, but that's like where they placed him. It's like he should be. Yeah, it, it should be in the way of it was released because yeah. if you go from well, the if they would put in journey guide of the way that they were released, it would kind of tell you like it kind of tells you what it's meant to. I don't know what I'm trying to say. If they just did everything, yeah, in release order, order was like when it was released order, that's going to go the way the natural progression of the game. It doesn't mean you have to do that, but like I said, there's some players where I'm just like, you know what? If it's really confusing for you. In my mind, go for the ones that came out first. You know what I mean, like three PO and and Chewbacca and all those other ones. Um, but yeah, I, I agree with what you're saying because there's no reason to go for him. He's not going to do anything for you unless you have, you know, some good Jedi up. I would say Bastila Sean. You probably yeah. want to get your Revens. You know, yeah, you want to get your Revens before. Like, like the, it's like it's that. a it's a farm of lifters, right? Like lifts, Night Sisters. Seer unaligned for, uh, force users a lift of Ufus and then Jedi Knight Calcastus lifts Jedi, but you you need the core of like you need you need those teams to get lifted and elevated. And if you don't have that, then they're not elevating anything. They're just kind of like taking up all your Kyro tech that you could have used on a GL. And see, like one thing that you and Eggnards do that I never take into effect is assault battles. <laughs> that's like that's that, huge that's hugely important that's like yeah that's a that's a huge uh return like because if you think about it um it gives you zetas it gives you Cairo attack it gives you injector pieces honestly that's the biggest thing is making injector pieces a passive farm because the more you're wasting your energy on injector pieces you're you're not getting bronzium wiring you're not getting ccbs you're not getting chiro tech you're not getting shards and you're just like overall slowing the progress of your account yeah yeah i just i've never even really thought about it um but you're not wrong you're not wrong in any way um uh okay so so we kind of talked about ships um yeah Obviously, you don't need to worry about any of that. Yep. It really sucks no matter what you choose. No matter what it, it, that you have 25k crystals, you have to do the 7 star. Now, I understand you can still get by without it being 7 star, but the collector in me is like, just pull the band-aid off, hoard, get it to 7 star. Mm -hmm. You don't need to do that. You can still get by with 5 and 6, but... Um, well, Levi if you get the Leviathan, you really should take that to 7 stars. Like, it does not perform unless it's at 7 uh, stars. That's one of the hardest farms, I think, in the entire game right now. I still think um, I Lord think, Vader. I think it's going to be... Lord Vader's crazy bad, I, man. I think, uh, crazy bad. I think GL Ahsoka is probably going to be the worst. Probably Leviathan probably is mm -hmm. number two, and then Lord Vader. But Lord Vader feels bad, because, like, Leviathan, I think, feels good. It's a good-feeling farm. Like, you get an a beefy uh, Darth Revan and Malak. It's like, yeah. You get a you get a Malgus. You're like, hell yeah. You know, like all, yeah. all of that's and, good. And when it first started out, Malgus was like the defensive team, but actually they're so much better on offense. They counter I, so many good teams. I did um, I did make a video that no one watched <laughs> on <laughs> on Sith Empire and Sith. Like I, I, I take all of them on offense. They're so flexible. You build them yeah. up, you can spread them out. Even Sith Empire, I could use like you can go with a Revan lead, a Malgus lead, and a Malak solo, especially in threes. Like in you can use like Malak to solo Seer 
crew uh, uh, Malikos teams in threes. Like that's a that's a strong team. You take Malik in there, he just solos them. So it's like it's a excellent form in faction. It's amazing that pre okay so pre the idea of a, a new team comes out, they're only good in territory battles. They're, one team's only good at territory wars. One's only good in GAC. You know that's what they're. That's the new cadence of well, that, squads. But it's just like Omicrons. Like that's like yeah. Because like, so pre Omicrons, the, oh, the pre Omicron pre-Omicron teams like CLS. I don't. I don't um, know. I'm not okay, Grandpa. Like <laughs> I don't. I don't know. Back, <laughs> back in my day. Yeah, what, what, I'm say, what, TB team and, uh, <laughs> what, what I'm saying yeah. is pre pre Omicrons, uh-huh. that wasn't the case. Every new team was good everywhere. So that's why CLS is still so good because that wasn't ever in mind. They were just meant to be good everywhere. Um, Malik, that's why Malik has lived for so long because he wasn't, they weren't putting Omicrons on him. He was meant to be good everywhere and he's still insanely OP. Um, so that's why a lot of these old teams are staying around so long because, you know, now I'll say this. Running. Yeah. Sith empire, like all these new teams, a lot of times you don't know what to do. Like throw Darth Revan at it, throw Malgus at it. Pretty good chance that it could probably beat it. Yeah. I mean, this Reva Kron gets in five V five anyways, gets mm-hmm. smoked by Malgus. Um, well, not, not new- always. There's times where you just like start the t- you just start it and then your malgus just gets deleted you're just like okay that's well that's that <laughs> like, yeah i, guess like, I know what it. you mean in 5v5 i have never had that problem but in 3v3 i that happens to me every time and i get smoked so i really? just quit using it's them more, in 3v3 it's more reliable in 3v3 than 5v5 that's so weird yeah because well, there's the not problem. as many because it because they're they they pretty much torture malgus right they start like twisting his nipples <laughs> Dude, <Yeah>. for sure. <laughs> yeah, uh, and then like they just delete them. But in three v three, there's just not enough. Um, it's it's like you get four. They get like four turns, and you're just fucking deleted. Yeah. So but it, I I do think in five v five, like just Phoenix, Bane, Bane too. Like it, Revacron, like that's where I I lately I just use my Bane, just just yes. absolutely dunks on them. I've been baning uh, Quad May lately. I know Gas can I, kind of pull it off. I've been but... I've been using uh, Java, <laughs> Java on yeah. Quad May. I think what, I used what, what? Uh, I used JMK one time, maybe. But JMK also beats like Gungans. There's no shame in what you use against her. As long as, I think when the Datacron goes away, it's going to be easier for everybody. I think you're going to be able to gas it. Um, yeah, yeah, probably. But I, for, I don't for have... now, there's. There's no great answer for Quad May. Like, I, um, if you uh, if you look at my gas, which is like it's in the center of the screen right now, he's not uh, he's yeah, not gonna be that. he's not gonna be Quad May. <laughs> <laughs> that, that stood out to me. Yeah. So when do you plan on working on him anytime soon? Uh, That's like know. bad batch for me, man. In like in like two years or so, I don't know. Maybe maybe in like eight six to eight months when I when I pro- when I go to farm uh, GL Ahsoka is when I'll farm him. He he's another pre. Omicron team that's always going to be great. Uh, um, but I will say that for, you know, I'm not saying you're a new player, but you're kind of in the mid spectrum of not being an old hit. Yeah, only, only three um, years. I've been playing for three years. A little less yeah, than three, so, but yeah. I, I would say he's going towards the luxury side of things. And I, I would, don't really need him. I'll but. say this. Before Quadme, right? Before Quadme, there was no good place for gas. Like, he he's messy on offense and it was an efficiency meta. And he gets be easy on defense. So especially against like CLS or something, gets be cheap and easy. So there was no good place for gas uh, right now with Quad May. Yes, like that, that's still good. Um, that's he, at least he has a home now. But before then, it was like, what are you gonna do with them? And even with Quad May with the Datacron, like 100%, he could still lose. You need the the defense or the the damage reduction Cron on him, and that gets dusted too. Dude, when Gas was released for the first time ever and he was revealed, he blew people's minds because yeah. he has that really, really unique, like, kneel down thing, mm-hmm. like, almost like a raid character. Yeah. People, I was scared shitless of it, but I mean, obviously. Well, because that back then, it was, it was what, yeah. like, Jedi Knight Revan and then Darth Revan was the meta. And then you could, yep. you get Big Daddy 
gas and he just like demolishes every back then it was like there was one team and it was like what's the best arena team and that's like what you had to farm for crystals but i i okay that was when they first started introducing relics too uh you had to relic like two or three characters not for um, gas not for, I, thought I, I don't know do i don't like know when they so it, it was okay it wasn't required but like to get past it, people were like, "You need to, you need to no, you, relic you, your." It was Gear Twelve. When it was, gear Twelve was when it was released for gas. Like it was the event was a Gear Twelve event, and that was the highest I think. Maybe yeah, recently yeah. afterwards, because it was like SLKR and Ray was what came afterwards, right? So and, relics weren't required for gas. No, but but he was he was the last one that didn't require relics. After that, yeah, GLs came out. Um, so it was a whole different thing. Mm -hmm. But he was the last of the old, yeah, the old, the old days. Yeah, because um, I, I want to say when people unlocked him, I don't think it was even possible to have relics. It was like Gear Twelve was the, was the, and maybe recent, like I said, maybe recently after. I I don't remember it to be honest, but maybe I think that's what it was. So I I got him the second time around, um, and I'm not saying you can't beat it with Gear Twelve, but like. People were saying you need to relic Assage. You need to relic like B2 or Droidic or something if you're wanting to beat this. So relics were around, but they weren't required to unlock gas. Um, but it was almost like a secret requirement that people were recommending that you you take two or three people to relic <clears throat> to get past it because it was a hard event. It was really really hard. Yeah, it was it was harder um, back then, right? Because he was like, yeah, it was the it was the old version of gas. Before he was like yeah. reworked. Before the, the big nerf, right? Where they nerf like yeah, Darth Vader, what... Gas, Jedi Knight Luke. And... Watt. Watt was one of those that they nerfed. Yeah. Yeah, it was the great nerf of 2020. And the reasoning was they don't want non-GL counters. Or, uh, well, no, I, I, I understand it. Like, they they <laughs> were like, it was too much. Like what? Yeah, they nerfed the, the tax and... All but a year things. later, they're now monetizing off meta GLs because people love it, right? So I think that was just their way of, all right, we're going to take these away, but now we're going to start selling teams that I don't, can take your deals. I, I get what they're saying. It's just like, because th what's what's the difference, right? Or what's what's the options? They either nerf these things to a reasonable level, or they have to increase everything after that to make it a lot harder. So I, I'm not against what they did. Yeah, I didn't really care. People freaked out about it. Um, it wasn't a big deal to me, to be honest. Mm -hmm. um, now, when relics came around, I was about to quit because it wasn't easy to get relics back then. I I did Relic quit. One character. I I quit when uh, when GLs came out, like, uh, and I was just like, these are impossible to attain. I was like, I was like, literally, I was like, I'm not going to spend two years farming one thing when someone's going to unlock it like the first day, and I'm ne and I'm ne and I don't want to play a game where I will never reach the end game. Like, I I never want to do that. Like, why would I constantly play a game where I'm never going to be relevant? And that's how I felt once they released GLs. I was like, these are unattainable. Um, I'll never get one, let alone two. And I was like, okay, I, I think it's time to keep it moving and just play something else. So I, I stopped playing at that point. What you said is exactly how I felt. Um, <clears throat> I was irate because once again, we were just talking about the gas where you did not need relics. You could relic those requirements, but you did not have to unlock them, okay? And then you jump from a gear 12 requirement straight to how many do you need? Like 18 relic yeah. characters? Yeah, because I had like, I had maybe one or two relics in my whole account. And they're like, to unlock this, you need, I think it's like 13 or something. You need like 13 relics. I'm like, what? I've been playing a year. I have one relic. Like, how am I, how am I ever going to get this? And I, I was like, it's, it's un, unattainable at that time. I was like, it's, it's, per, it's not realistic. And you did you didn't have the relieved gear crunch. It was really hard to get really anything. Um, it was overwhelming. It was very overwhelming. It mm -hmm. blew me away, and I was ready to quit. But Avant, my co-host, he's also my guild leader. He talked to me. I was like, "Dude, we love having you." Like, you know, he kind of made me feel good. He's like, "Dude, just don't give up. Keep doing it." But I. I'm also a sequel hater, passionately hated him. So I didn't like the characters. I was very overwhelmed by having to have that many characters required, let alone relics. So I was ready to quit. Hindsight 2020, I love relics. I love GLs. But at the time, I was just irate. So I didn't farm Slacker. I didn't farm Ray. 
And the next set came out, and it was JML. And I was like, you know what? I don't love this version of Luke, but I do love Luke. Um, I'm going to go for it. So he was my first GL. I started farming him when he was new. Um, yeah, cool. and to be, to I was be open fair, to it after that. Yeah, to be fair, it wasn't that we hated relics. It was just it was impossible to attain. Like, absolutely. Um, like, because who, who wants to play something where it's like, okay, this guy's going to... Because at the time, we were, like, farming for gear 8, gear 9, gear 10, because the crunches were, like, carbontes and stun cuffs and stun guns, and that that's, like, our bottlenecks. And then it's like, not only do you have to, like, trudge through all that garbage, now you have to, like relic all these characters i was like it's impossible i can't even i can't even it takes me forever to get to gear 12 let alone you know all these relics and relic materials exactly it was it was a pretty hard time like i said i got used to it i I feel like once anyone gets one gl uh farm under their belt each one gets easier and easier as it goes it's not such a big deal the second the third one gets better after the second one they're never a fun but um you know, I don't mind him anymore. Like when I hear a new GL, I kind of get excited. It's like, all right, this is going to be tough. It's going to take me a while, but it'll be worth it. And one thing I commend CG on is there's not, maybe there might be one, but if you go into that journey guide, there's not one character that's not worth it. Um, You know, there might be ones that are better than others. Like to me, like out from the bat, like I would say Grand Inquisitor is the least satisfying one until you get Reva. I would, I would say Afra. Afra is probably the that, least. That's a great one too. Yeah, yeah. I, she's the last on my list to mm-hmm. get. Uh, I may never get her because yeah. I'm always going to be chasing something newer over her. She's super luxury. Um, but yeah, so there's only like one or two. Like obviously, Grand Inquisitor pays off. You just have to put a lot more into it. But like those are probably the two that are right out from the gate aren't that fun to, to unlock. But most of these players that are legendaries, they've stayed relevant. No matter who you choose, you're gonna have you're gonna get use out of them. They're gonna increase your roster. They're gonna, gonna increase your viability as a player. Um, so I've always com- commended them where the legendaries haven't really fallen out of place. They always keep them relevant, and uh, that is pretty cool on their part. Um, but uh okay so i'm gonna go back to your roster we're gonna be here all like when you hang out with me we'll fucking talk forever yeah (laughs) excuse my language guys i'm really sorry he warned me i'm just i grew up in a family that does nothing but cuss uh so i'm doing my best here it just comes out naturally but um so you have what two four you have five gls Mm -hmm. um and you said you're working towards leia well i'm I'm farming the quadme farm right now and then uh yeah I'm, i'm like working on leia right now yeah, and I'm sure you have quite a bit of her requirements already done, right? What are you probably I, about I halfway have, done there? I'm mostly done. She's great. Like, I don't know what you plan on doing with her, but she's very versatile. There's so many rebels you can go in and mess around with. Um, there is that stupid Rolo bug. It's gonna so go I away. Have, I, I have a, I have Bays right there. So I, I just took him to gear twelve. So I plan on uh, taking Bays. It, it's right. It's on your screen right now. Oh, I know. I'm just going to go to Rebels. Okay. It'll make it so easier. So I, I, I plan on taking him to, uh, what is it, Gear or Relic 5, and then Mon Mothma. I'll, I'll probably use Mon Mothma and Bays as my fourth and fifth. That's the exact one I use. I think Bays is just a fun tank. Um, I took him up before Leia was even, I unlocked her. I just took him up because I liked him. I had the, the Adrad team, and he was just fun. He was just fun to he's, mess around with. He has mass to spells. Yeah, he has a mass to spell. Um, he's a tank. So you yeah. can take them as high as you want to. Mm-hmm. Um, so I was, I think Saul Guerrero was just announced. So I was like, you know what? We, I thought he was going to be good. He didn't turn out to be as good as we thought. But uh, I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna relic base for it. Yeah. Worst, um, worst case, if I have to use like Mon Mothma for Luthen or something, then I'll th- probably throw in like uh, old, old, old Ben with uh, yep, with Bays really good. and then with Mon Mothma yep. or something. Or even um, a lot of times I'm using Phoenix without kanan so i could use like kanan whoever like, yeah. like jedi rebel tanks or whatever yeah so um there's yeah. there's two right like old ben and and kanan so maybe them yeah but- I, I did the same thing I've, I've tried things off and on but you are correct the the most solid one that i've had is um mon mothma because she mm-hmm. puts an extra person out there for the ai to or you know to just he doesn't really matter, but he's an extra yeah. character out there. And then she revives. That's the most important thing. And that yeah. really, if and she Baze, gets that revive off, it really yeah. throws things off. Yeah, and Baze is like a pre-taunt and everything. So, 
kind of messes. Rebels is really fun, man. You mm-hmm. have the Adrad team. You have yep. um, Leia. Mm-hmm. What's the other one I'm thinking of? I mean, kind of the Saw Gerrera. If you, I put the Omicron on him just to have some fun with it. I, I don't have um, Saw. He's like gear eight or something. He's not something you need. Uh, mm-hmm. With Luthen, maybe. I'll, I guess I'll work on Luthen when I unlock him. I, I only went gold crate, all three conquests, because I wasn't that excited about him. Sounds like he's doing pretty good. Better than what people thought. Yeah, used... Scarif Rebel Pathfinder is a fun tank mm-hmm. to mess around with. I did I did beat Luthen this time around with a Gear 12 Treya. Like Mon Mothma Luthen. I like Gear 12 Treya, Gear 12 Nihilus, um, Talon, Darth Vader, Savage. And I was able to be a uh, Relic. Um, a Relic, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Luthen? Luth- Mon Mothma Luthen, yeah. Okay. It's still a crazy team because I used I did I saw him in uh so what what Kyber are you in Kyber two what league okay so yeah we might face off someday I have two accounts in Kyber two but yeah I saw Luthen as well in the back it was mm-hmm. Mon Mothma I just tried Sith I tried Malgus because I was like I didn't have a lot left um, it did work but it was iffy it was going to time out like no one was really doing much to either one of them I was taking people out but then she was this, the turn meter was crazy so she kept reviving right. I think the fear was helping me. I'm pretty sure. I'm not great at kits, but I'm pretty sure the fear was helping me, but it was not pretty. It took me about three or four minutes to win. Um, and I don't even think that, I don't even know if he had Omicrons. I don't know if he had like bigs in there, which was weird. So I think the team's going to be good if you throw a few Omicrons on him. Um, it could get pretty scary. And I think in Arena, like Arnold was taking out GLs. I think Ray was one of them. Um, so they might be more of an offensive team we're yet to see. This is our first Grand Arenas with him in there. Um, who knows what he does in 3v3. Um, but, yeah, I think it's a pretty decent team. But, yeah, yeah, dude, Leia's fun, man. So are you going to put her on defense like everyone else? Uh, maybe. I, I I actually scout my opponents, so. Okay. I'll probably. So, yeah, I know. Uh, yeah, so I, <laughs> I, I'll take what I need for offense, and then I'll, I'll put the rest on defense. So, Le- I, I would love to be able to put like Ray, Jabba, JMK, Lay on defense or something and then still put like a uh, really good fleets defense and, and still be able to full clear. But at the time, I'm, I'm still not there. So I, I don't know. I, I At this point where I am in the game, I'm finally able to everything I'm farming now, I'm able to put on defense because I'm able with what I have to, to full clear anyone. So yeah, we'll, we'll see. So my favorite part of this game is just planning farms. So I want to know even farther past Leia, since you're getting pretty close with her, what are you going to do after Leia? So my next three farms, and I talked with this uh, Eggnards about this. Um, so my next farms are Gungans, Jedi Knight, Calcastus, uh, and Bo-Katan Mandalore. So I, I only have six hard node farms left left in the game, including ships and everything. So even though I'm at like oh, 9.5 nice. million, I, I only have six of them left. Uh, the rest of them are either like shipments that like don't matter, like the... Yeah, the, Ugnot. <laughs> yeah, Ugnot, Kira, <laughs> Chief Nabe, or, uh, you know, Cantina Farms. So, but if it's a hard node farm, I, I have them all except for six of them. And the th- half of those, so three, are uh, Bo-Katan Mandalore, and they're at like six stars. But I'm still farming. Um, I'm still farming all the like Kaloran Beck, IG12, and um, and Paz Vizsla. They're at six stars right now, and I'm I'm just getting their last star. So um, I'm probably uh, thinking. I've been thinking about it, and I'm pr- I'm probably gonna skip Gungans and not farm them right now. And I'm probably going to go straight into Leia, into Jedi Knight Calcastus, into Bo-Katan Mandalore. And at that point, I'll probably be ready for GL Ahsoka, and I'll probably go for like GL Ahsoka, then um, the or maybe even the uh, twenty twenty five fleet or something. Um, Bo-Katan is so fun. Yeah, I know. I only I, know. I only use her for a couple things, but it's just she's one of those teams that are really satisfying to use. Um, yeah, most most people yeah. use them to counter Lord Vader, and it's like I have so many Lord Vader counters. I have JML, I have um, bounty hunters, I have uh, what do you call it? Bane. So it's yeah. not it's not like I need because she is like the Lord Vader counter, but it's not like I need her right now. 
Um, I would probably honestly just throw her on defense if I got her, but I don't know. She's just a good Swiss Army knife to have. Like I've been countering mm-hmm. uh, the boss Nascron with her because of her mass assists on the generator. Um, yeah. yeah, she's good. But, she's no doubt, no but, doubt about but it. But w- once the the Gungans Datacron goes away, mm-hmm. uh, people are even using this now. I'm sure you've heard about it. I'm, but the, I'm, I'm going to use the yeah Savage lead uh, Treya. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that that one is really good. It it's not a hundred percent for me when I try it. Uh, I have done it before, but it's kind of iffy. But once that Datacron goes away, uh, that's the counter to use. I, I, think. I did it in threes really reliably. Okay, I, I tried it in five v five and it just it didn't work at all. In five v five, I I've only messed with them once and I used JMK. He just like embarrassed so, them. <laughs> like, so, I mean, you don't have Cal, but what I've been my go to now after I've tried it is just JML. You might okay. be able to pull it off without Cal, but JML with know. all his assists and you have the vulnerable the stuns from loot JKL. It's actually really really easy. It's really maybe, good. Maybe I, I could look into I, that. Um, I mean, if I can pull it off without any like information I, on it, well, I, th- I'm I sure think you Jedi, I think Jedi Knight Calcastus probably makes that possible because I don't know. I, I feel like yeah, it, because it, you're not wrong because you got to remember like you are dispelling with JKL's basic, but also Jedi Cal dispels on basic, so you just get around those taunts really quickly. It brings you right back to the mm-hmm. um to the generator but yeah you're gonna like cal too man because honestly you can break up once you get cal he's so good you can just break up the jml team and do something like i've even used bastila it, it's brought back bastila sean lead yeah um, for for malgus yeah which i don't see him on you know if you know what you're doing you don't really see that anymore but it still gives you a team you can use on other teams not just I th- malgus i think a lot of people when they scout they look do you have jedi knight calcastus and if you do they're going to take malgus off defense because they would rather have him and that's why i think like malgus and c do fight a lot of the same teams so i i think it would probably be, people in threes i think it'd probably be better to put c on defense and take malgus on offense because if they're beating the same teams um, I think C with a good uh, good Sith um, like Savage or Malik is hard. Will take like an actual GL to beat compared to well maybe with Wampa Kron right now uh, he can do it, but like he he's really good. I I would rather you're do really, that. You're really gonna like uh, Cal though. Now you're a smart guy, so you may already know what to do, but you have to know how to use him to yeah. understand. You know what I mean? Because yeah. I've had people unlock him and like this, say this guy sucks. I'm like, Kit, Kit, I thought the same thing, you know, but it, you got to know how to use him. Uh, Kit, Kit complexity isn't really an issue for me. So like maybe the first one or two times I use him, I'm like, okay, how does this work? But I, I don't have issues where I'm like, this kit's too complicated. Like I, I could just read it and, and figure it out from there. It's not a big deal. Yeah, I, I I was like, why is what's so great about this guy? And Navon had to like get on. I was like, this is how you do it. Pretty mm-hmm. much, you, you do the stance to you want to have Jedi Knight Revan with him at all times. Yeah, because Revan does the A two, which feeds a hundred percent meter back to him, because mm-hmm. it takes a while for him to get that insta kill. So you you know you do your stance over to Revan, you do the A two over back to Jedi Cal, and then you do a basic in between that, and then. The third time around, you do his stance again. And the fourth time around, you have his insta-kill. That's the fastest time you can do it. Um, but some people just, like me, just hit buttons, not know, don't read kids, well, don't know what the fuck is done. Or yeah, there's that, also uh, also one of his stance have, like, speed up, so it, like, gives you more tier. Like, it's, it's, it's minuscule, but it does, like, add up a little bit with him being a little faster. And you want to, like, do that in the stances where he's not going to get, like, instant turns and the most out of it. So... Yeah, there's there's like a way to do it. There's like a, a ideal way to go through his his stances. I just um not yep. not not too worried about it. When I when I get it's him, a while I'll, away. I'll figure it out. Like, yeah. But some people just don't know and it's like it does seem like he sucks if you don't. All right. So I have a question, uh just mm-hmm. when you go when you're farming. Do yeah. you take times uh when you're comfortable where your roster is, do you take time for like luxury farms? When I say luxury farms like teams that you know you need to build up that you have available, but they're not relicked up yet. Do you take time to have little periods between GL farms or legendary farms and do that? No, 
I don't. Um, the so only was... the only thing I do uh, is for GLs, I will build them a complete team. Or like for some things, like on Rogue One, uh, I I have like a Relic Three K Two because you you need a tank for the team, and if you don't bring a tank, then you know the so for things like that, I don't think they're luxuries. I think they're essential. So I'll do that. Like same thing, I'm building bays for uh for Leia, so I'll get bays to to Relic Five, and then I'll put a Zeta on Mon Mothma so I can have that for their for her fourth and fifth so I don't have to like take uh Radis or Jin or um Han and Chewie or something from other two other teams that I need. Um so yeah like I'll do that. But there's plenty of things I I should do that you're talking about. But the problem is like I, I you probably haven't seen it but I have like a hierarchy of needs. I have um a like a way I build my account and a, a, my philosophy of how an account should be built. And I, it has like a, a foundational phase to it. And I'm still working through, believe it or not, I'm still working through that foundational phase, even at like 9.5 million. And a lot of it is not dependent on like uh, most guides where it's like, this is what you need to do and form this and that. It has to do with like, here's the philosophies, here's the things that you need to ensure that you're doing. And you sometimes you have to go back, like when they add a new raid to figure that out. So, yeah. Sorry, my kid just no, came in. No, it's okay. Um, uh, so, yeah, I mean, that, that's fine. There's no wrong answer. But, like, I usually try to tell people to, like, you know, get several GLs, get some ships going, but take, like, a month or two and just work on luxury farms. And that may not be the best idea, but that makes the game more fun for me. So, like, I never got to work on Imperial Troops because I was always just worried about legendaries. Legendary. So one day I just said, you know what, I'm going to work on five Imperial Troop teams, like the original one, the Dark Trooper ones. And it's just a way for me to have more fun. But like, like this team, man. Oh my goodness. This yeah, team is I, so I good. This I, is I will, the GL team right here. I will farm. I, I'm not, I'm not going to farm Vesis or Maul. Maul I'll farm once I get like Lord Vader. Um, but like the Seer on un the line force user team, I, I do agree with you is very good. And I would, I probably, once I farm Jedi Knight Calcastus, so I'm, I'm more than likely if I have to guess what I'll probably do, because I'm, I'm not like a hundred percent solidified on it, but um, what I am going to do 100%, 100% finish the Quadme team, finish uh, Leia, get Baze up and running, uh, Zeta, Mon Mothma. Then I'm going to probably, if I had to guess, I would probably go Jedi Knight Calcastis, Seer Unaligned Force users just to finish that. And then I'll go into uh, Bo Katan Mandalore. And at that point, I'll probably be farming either uh, GL Ahsoka or uh, what do you call it? Um, the 2025 ship, depending on how long that stuff takes me. If I had to guess, is what I'll probably do. Yeah, I like that. But, dude, I, you're missing out on Malikos. <laughs> the no, way I, he just destroys people is so fun, you know? Well, he would, um, he's like the Ray counter. But right now, with the Attacker Cron, like, Starkiller is on the menu again. Like, he just absolutely destroys mm -hmm. that team. So Yeah, so, like, so Malikos reminds me of Starkiller 2.0. Yeah, They're just I, so fun. I, so I would fun. like I do want he's on the he's on the the path and it's uh it's I build my account on like how to get more things into my account because you have to imagine like you your account is what like eight years old it's really old yeah, yeah so and, my account's three years old so it it doesn't have everything like I don't have the that you know eight years to have like gone through and built everything my i had to focus on like how can i get more stuff so i can accelerate my uh account building so i can get more things and i'm, I'm still in that process i don't have all the assault battles at ct3 i'm i'm missing the 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 jedi bros the new assault battle and then i have one assault battle at like C, at ct2 that i need if the the night sister ones um and then i still have i i want my guild to get like zepho and mandalore um, you know, just, just farming Leia right now. So I, and I do weave in big farms with assault battles and that's what I recommend. Like farm a GL ship, farm an assault battle, farm a GL, farm an assault battle and kind of weave those in where you, where you say like farm a legendary, I could care less about legendaries. I say farm, um, farm assault battles in between your big ones personally. Yeah. I mean, with my account, obviously I have all the assault mm -hmm. battles done, but, um, yeah, I see what you're coming from there. Also, I'm proud of your Bad Batch. I'm glad that they're pretty much where mine is. You're a little well, bit higher. That's the, one. 
Yeah, the, the <laughs> only reason I haven't, like, I think Bad Batch should be when you farm Lord Vader. And I I would love for them sure. for the Marauder, but, like, I, I, I'm just not, Lord Vader will be my last, last farm. And I don't need the Marauder. Like, I don't need the Negotiator with Marauder. Like, if someone put, I can still put a great uh, fleet defense down. And if someone puts, like, a few fleets of uh, Profundity, Executor, Leviathan, I could still beat them. So, I, at the time, I, I don't need them. I'm sure as I get closer to, and closer to Kyber 1, I'll probably need them to be like more cracked out executor fleets. No, I couldn't agree more about LV. I think he's one of the last you should farm just because everyone, you know, I would give people crap mm-hmm. about calling it Lord Failure. I don't think he's horrible. I think no, he's I, good. I think it's really good, honestly. Yeah, but like you said earlier, the requirements are so steep. Mm-hmm. And... Besides Bad Batch, there's not a lot of greatness that comes out of his requirements. I think that C, going for C, you're going to get some requirements done for LV, naturally. Um, so if you go for everything else, you'll have a lot of LV done. But yeah, that Bad and, Batch, um, Hyrotex, all that, and then the high amount of relics, he, what you have to put in and what you get out, not saying he's bad, but I just I think it's worth the last one of the last farms you do. Yeah, I get it. And all my Lord Vader requirements, except for Padme, are like gear eight. So I'm, I'm like nowhere near. That'll that'll be the last last GLI farm, maybe after yeah. Ahsoka. And, and I I may never get him because I'll keep chasing the newest I, thing. Not, yeah. I think I'll I think I'll get Ahsoka, or probably GL fleet Ahsoka, then Lord Vader, probably or probably like C Lord Vader. I will farm him. I will get all the GLs. I I think it's worth having all the GLs. So, so I, do you, I um, probably within a year I'll have him. Do you spend it all? Uh, just like uh, just, five levels? just the um just the thirty dollar conquest pass. Okay. Do you buy the LSVs? No. Oh, the lightspeed bundles. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. I'll I'll buy a lightspeed bundle. So I bought like the cam one. I bought everyone that will benefit me. I wanted the cam one real bad, but I don't have enough pine cones for that. Mm. Um. So yeah, man. I mean, overall, we kind of went over your roster for the most part. It looks like you're only one million GP underneath me. So you're for me being, being eight years and you only being three. It looks great. Um, but yeah, I, I my only thing is get them ufus up. I know you a lot going on, but get mm-hmm. them ufus, man. That is such a fun. Uh, it's a good team. team. It's a good team. I I do have two Omicron saved, but I'm, I'm probably gonna give them to. If I had to guess, I would probably give my um because I just put two on Quadme. Um, so I, I would probably put one on, um, what do you call him? The small arm guy. I, I'm, I'm running a blank. Uh, Drogan. Yeah. Drogan. Yeah. Probably Drogan. Yeah. I'll probably give Drogan's his Omicron. I think it's still good. Just like I have Chrysanthemum's. I think I'll, I'll do Drogan's. So I'll probably do that one. And then I'm thinking maybe Marin, maybe Marin's. Um, I was just there too. Do you have a relic? No, but I, I'm gonna I, I'm I'm gonna farm Jedinite Calcastus, so that's probably oh. my next two. So I have two right okay. now. It's pro- yeah. those are the two. After that, I, I'll probably because I, I don't believe in doing the TB ones for Jedinite Calcastus. I don't need the TW ones. Um, yeah, I I will probably do, and I I would like to, but maybe I won't do Marins, so I could do. Uh, are you ready? Are you back? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, I said, man. No, it's, it's right. okay. Uh, maybe I, I probably won't do Marins so that I can do uh, Seer Unaligned Force users because it's four Omicrons, and that's pretty expensive for one team. Like Seer's plus the Malak. You want all three of Malakos's, and you want Seer. I would say so. Yeah, I would so. say you need all three, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. so I, I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm flexible. I'll, I'll think about it, but I think I'll probably do um, – I'll probably do – Drogan, Marin, and then I'll 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 probably have like two more by then. So I'll probably do Seer, one of Malakos's, and then as I start working on my other things, I'll probably uh like put the two other ones as I like get them on Malakos. Cause I, I do he's on my list. I do want him. I, I he's he looks like such a fun uh, character. He like throw rocks, he assists, he's so strong. Um He also but, can't revive. Yeah. He, he has anti revive mechanics as well. Yeah, so I, um, I do I do want him. He's on the list. He to me the most satisfying team. No matter what Omicrons you have to put him, he is just so fun. He's my favorite team in the game. Mm. Um, 
And dude, like I have, so like I was talking luxury farms. I did Night Sisters as luxury farms. I gave Marin the the Omicron. I think Eggnards would disagree, but like I don't do anything with them. I I don't even use them in Grand Arena. But you can, so I have plenty really, of other things. Can, they they can be some good stuff, but you could. I'm not saying they can't, they but can like I have so many other options that I don't even think why about you, them. Why don't you just put them on defense or something on the back wall? I might have to. I don't know. I just feel like they're pretty easy to beat. You think so? I don't know. I, don't, I, I still think they're okay. Like, if you have a modded right there, they could do some good things. And Maybe I, that's my problem. Maybe their modding is off or something. I don't know. I, but. I do. I just believe in a lot of, like, B plus, A minus defense, and then a more offense-heavy um, efficiency. That, that's just kind of what I am. I'm like an efficiency guy. So as long as you can execute, then I, I don't see a problem with having like, you know, so so. Um, because a lot of like gas beats them pretty easily, but you know, gas goes towards quad main stuff. You have quad main on defense. You you just like stretching the things that people normally bring, and you're like, okay, this is my counter for that. But if if I have to use it here, what am I going to use it there? And that's when you start messing people up. Is when you start pulling away normal counters for them, and they're going to have to do things that they're uncomfortable with. Exactly. Like I want to bait out a bane counter. I want to bait out. You know, maybe like a Trey counter or whatever thing that counters a lot of teams. One one thing I, like, I, like to try one, to bait out. one thing I have heard about you, Bones, is that you're a you're a master baiter. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the best I'm at, man. That's why I stream. <laughs> I don't even know what to say to that. But yes, yes, I am. Um, uh, on that note. What do you think about going to check out my roster? Because yeah. yeah, man, I mean, you're doing, you're doing wonderful, dude. You know your stuff. You're a great, you're a really smart guy, great content creator. Um, yeah, dude, you're doing good. Just get those ufus up for me, man. I'll, I'll do Let my me best. Know when you get on those. I'll do my best. All right. Okay, so we have bones here. the The peacekeeper. Why Why'd you choose that? Some peaceful guy, man. I don't okay. like to fight. I'm a lover, not a fighter. All right, with the Valley of the <laughs> Sith Lords. I, I, I will say, yeah. I, I do like that. You, it looks like you're getting decent fleet because what a lot of people with like big accounts, they really do ignore this. And they're like, well, my sh my shard is like a bunch of sharks. And I think they just give up. They like resign to the fact that they just can't do better. But it looks like you, you do it. So I, I really do like that. One of the easiest and most important things a player either misses out on or can do is do your best to at least get top three. What like are, you gotta get top three if you what can. Is, what are these? What are the what is this? Bones? You've been playing for like eight years and you don't even have all your ships farmed. What are the, what are these guys? Because like you said about like Marauder, like no. I just don't feel like I need those ships. But you I, just, I, like, I, I, I never yeah. said I don't need the Marauder. <laughs> like, <laughs> I said, said something like that. <laughs> no, it's it's like but the Marauder is like sixteen hundred Chirotech. This is, these are like single, you just farm them. They're just there, like a single farm. I just, just farm, no farm, farm your ships, please, sir. I know, I know. Just like the, the, the Pi Echelon is one that, like, what, both are you, those. what are you using your, your ship energy for? Like, really? Uh, like, at the camp. So I am farming those slowly. Are you? Are you? So, like, I, I do one it's five like, energy I do refresh every year. On the one, one, one five energy <laughs> refresh every year. <laughs> Well, I just started. You're not wrong. All right. So I think in the Tie Reaper, isn't that like a some other node? Yeah, it's it's they, a light the, side hard node. Yeah, but you could like just farm them. There's nothing. There's no, nothing they, that is why you can't. They're not accelerated. They're not accelerated. I am there's farming no, the Tie Reaper. There are no right accelerated here. ships. You just got to farm them. Hey, remember efficiency, right, bud? It's it's That's efficient. Why we're here. It's efficient to farm your shards. The ROI is you get all your ships. You don't, because like let's so hear. I will say that I do need the tie echelon because then I, maybe I can start pulling off yeah. the the finalizer counter on executor if it's right. not a triple attacker. So I am farming that slowly. All right, because you're um, but, you're uh, you're ten point seven million GP, six point four in characters, four point two in ships. Honestly, you you should have more GP, and it's those things because you're you have pretty much as much as me, but you have a much bigger account. So you, you should be in like the four five, four six or something with ships at this much. Right? 
I would say. Um, I I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know because you're, you're. Uh, it's just I get by. Like I I don't really need anything. I would like the Marauder because then I would never make a mistake. So I am working on my Bad Batch as we speak. Yeah, cause not you because have I a, want to. Because a viewer, yeah, a friend of mine gave me some money to do it. But um, you're um because you're at thirty two thousand Galactic War battles. So. What is that? Yeah, I was going to have you tell um, me. It's like how long that is. seven, seven and a half. Yeah. Yeah, I've been here. I was here whenever uh, Royal Guard was meta, meta because of his stun on basic. No, oh, okay. I was about to say meta what? <laughs> <laughs> he was meta out of stun. stun. All right. That's so, all. And he, was, he was meta. So I have to ask you. Why is your Master Qui Gon and Pad One Obi Wan not Relic Seven at least? Probably Relic Nine. What? what is you guys are driving there? crazy with this ROI and assault battle thing. I'm in no rush to do that, and here's why. why. And yeah. you're going to disagree. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. I don't disagree. need the R nine materials. I don't need the R eight materials. What I need is like the um the earlier Relic materials. I, I don't R nine people. But you get you get like crystals too. You get credits. You can use those credits to buy mods. Like it, it, the slicing materials, it gives you signal data. Like you know, like it, there, it gives you everything. Like everything you need, all the bottlenecks. It gives it gives but, you those earlier mat- materials too. I'm pretty sure. Like it gives you like bronzium wirings. And I, okay, I get that. The earlier I do this the more I'll get back in the long run. Okay, I understand that. Um, I just, I'm not in a rush to do it. Well, cause I'm just what, not. Sir, sir, what are you doing right now? <laughs> like, what are you farming? Okay, because people donate things, I allow them, if they give me a certain amount of money, I'll let them pick my farms or whatever. Okay. So it's kind of a fun thing. So I yeah, so what actually, are you, what are you just today, go look at my Jedi. Because just today, go look at one of my, go look at Jedi Knight Guardian. April. This was this happened just me? today. You're like I'm. I'm farming Jedi Knight Guardian. Not where's farming. It? You're farming here. Where's Where is it? Uh, where is he? I don't know. You should be able to see her. Jedi Knight Guardian. She should be at the top. Why don't I see Jedi Knight Guardian? She's a Jedi. Oh, here it is. R nine. Yeah, there she is. Yeah, I, I yeah, I, yeah. I get, I get like community goals, right? And and you're a streamer, yeah. so you're gonna farm like whatever. Um, so I, that, I get, that, I get that, right? So, what I'm saying is, other than that, right? Like, you should be able to farm two characters because that, like, even right now, the there is like the raid. They're the best, easiest way to get a higher raid score, even though you have like R7 Gungans. You have Kaloran back. You have. All right, man. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. I'm listening. My bad. Yeah. So you have a. Uh, you have like. You have decent raid score, right? You don't need better raid score. Uh. So yeah. So man. So I. I'm behind, so I just did Gungans just mm-hmm. a week or so ago. Yeah, and I'd still be farming them if a person didn't help me out financially to unlock them this last time. Yeah. So I had to R seven all of them. I I'm I if you go look at my Gungans, I don't even have enough. I think I just put all the Zetas. I don't have any any Omicrons, so um, I'm doing. But what I need is signal data, so I can't do two Cantina farms because I had to R nine old girl i had to do all these r7s just very recently um so, so i need you, signal data i don't so really you, want to take time doing? to do the cantina farms for pow and what are you doing right now what are you doing right now so uh, another fan thing what's the another fan I got thing paid a bunch is taking my bad batch all the way to gear 12 and mind you they're at but gear one but there's no that's no signal data no, I'm farming signal data just for like, because then I'm going to Ahsoka after that. I, I just, you guys have put this on a pedestal. I, I just don't care as a player. Because it's her. good. Like the the team is good. Because honestly, um, if you would have asked, like you should have done the Quadme team instead of Gungans. Like you should have done Quadme. You could have done R9. 
um, even like R R eight, whatever. Like it, it would have been less signal data, I think, if overall, if you would have just like R nine the three of them, than R seven those five. You can't. Quote I mean, me. it was it, it was yeah. No, you're not wrong about any of this. It's just me as a, a personal player is I rather had the Gungans. Um, I had already started on them. Um, I was pre doing gear on them before they were even seven star. Like I was gung ho. Like this, I was going for the team. And once I pick a farm, like I don't I don't stop farming it until it's done. So I think that's one of the number one rules is like when you pick a farm and you're you're into it, don't abandon it for something else. So I, I'm um, just so. I'm just saying like as you're farming bad bats, just farm the stars on Master Qui Gon Pad One Ob One, and then once you're you're done with your bad batch, you can get them up. No, because now I'm going for GL Ahsoka after this. G- GL Ahsoka is pretty all- far away. Like I don't know how long you plan on doing bad batch. But like, let's say, well, until they're gear 12 and then I'm done with them, yeah. but I want to have all the requirements done for GL Ahsoka and know that they're done and not have to worry about them. Then I will possibly go for quad. Me. I'm not against quad. Me. It's just not a priority. Um, GL Ahsoka is a priority. And who knows? Maybe Balin will become a priority. Um, after that. So in my eyes, quad May isn't worth me. I need Omicrons on other things, AKA Jar Jar right now. So if I want to get more out of Quad May and Gak, I'm going to have to put some Omicrons, which I can't do right now. Um, so all they're going to be used for me is is um, is uh, for the assault battle, and then I'm going to have to take them to R9, which is more signal data that you I can, need anyways you can still for Yellow Soka. R7 is still good, but it's 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 it, I can't. I'm not doing it <laughs> not, not right now. It's going to have to be after Yellow Soka. That's where that's where she's on my radar. I get that she's important, and I will R nine them uh, when it gets to that point. But there's too many R nines right now that I have to do for GL Ahsoka because I want GL Ahsoka. Uh, I do like GL, or I do like Ahsoka as a character. Um, I'd rather I'd pick her over many other GLs in this game. So I'm excited about it. Um, so just as a fan and a, as a collector, I just want her um, as fast as I can get it. And then I love Balin, so I'm probably gonna say I'm gonna go for Balin after Ahsoka. And then probably quad me, no matter what. But then again, if by that point, if there's a capital ship, I I t- I always put ships in front of everything else, always, because I want to get those crystals every day. So it could be a long time before I get quad me. So you- I, she's gonna fall off after um her data the pow data cron goes off. As far as Grand Arena, I get the assault battles will always be there. But like I told you earlier, assault battles are just not even in my mind. I don't even think about it. Um, you need so I'm okay fix, missing out on those resources. You need to fix your mods on SOKR. Yeah, I Mike re- like, remodded my entire account the other day. So these are, mods are who, are new. who did? Uh, my co-host uh, Aussie Mike. Did he? Yeah, he, uh, he had you know, hot utils, and he just he, had some he did this? and remodded everything. Like he did this, Aussie uh, Mike. I gotta go look. I don't know where where. It is. Click on. So it's SOKR. So you, like he he remodded SOKR because he it doesn't like have... personally he just he just pulled up his templates he had and pretty much hit a button. Oh, okay. So well, I don't I, think I, he really chose. So he this needs a crit damage triangle. Like it's oh, for one it's insanely slow. Like look at this offense cross. It has nine speed on. Okay, so like, what what do you want out of him? Because I mean, he's always done what I needed him to do. So like, uh, what are, at what least is the... at least at the very least, crit damage triangle, right? Mm-hmm. So the triangle needs to go. You can use it somewhere else. I don't, I don't know where, but and then at, at, like a decent offense uh, cross. You know, I, I honestly I would like twenty plus speed on his uh on his secondaries at least well now that's a problem because i don't my mods aren't good even eight years into it my mods just aren't good okay um so like that is a problem like i farm them i do everything i I spend a lot of money getting them out of the store as well and just nothing even i just i don't know over eight years i have not that i think he looked up i had like less than 10 25 plus mods have you seen my mod guide <laughs> like, uh, uh, yeah yeah everyone talks about it in the discord but i i mean i i get that but even past that i'll upgrade ones that don't need to be because i have the money to do it 
just to have a better possibility of it. But, um, yeah, man, I just I'm, don't have good ones. I'm just going to say this, Bones. What the F? Okay. What the F, dude? <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't <laughs> what, know. Is it, what, what is this? <laughs> what is this? Do you know what I'm looking at? Can you see my screen? Uh, you have to share oh, it with oh, me. I, I got to share it. Hold on. Let me go through. So I guess a little better. <laughs> All right. So what what the F on this, uh, on these mods, dude? What is I just I like I like her slow because if she's slow, then um, she takes longer to come out of the, the ultimate. So that's why I like her slow. These these are I'm just going to say this. Like you have this is a relic eight ray, you know what I mean? Like a relic eight ray. Mm -hmm. And that's the only thing that's like kind of saving this ray. But this is bad. Well, are you, are you saying bad. she's too slow? I'm saying these mods are like crap, like absolute shit. Like they're shit mods. And yes, she is too slow. <laughs> like I, this is this is not good. Like look at this. There's no like you have 0.28% offense on this mod. Bones. 0.28. That's like a rounding error, right? Hey man, I'm still in Kyber 2, brother. You have I'm still here. This, this circle has four speed. No offense on it. This diamond, 1.9% offense. If you would just six dot this, even though it's like an app, I wouldn't six dot it because it's a piece of shit mod. But if you six dot that, that like, you, you get what I'm saying? Like, this one mm -hmm. has seven speed. I, I understand what you're saying. Um, even the one, eight speed, 16 health, no offense percent here, eight speed. So this is the closest to being okay but it's still only 3.7% offense. So if you got some real mods on her and you could like get this damage to the moon, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then the health is like, okay ish. Cause she's all right. So it helps that. But it... I guess I just like, she's a good defensive character, but I just mm -hmm. figure if I'm in Kyber two, you're going to beat my Ray. In one yeah. I've, I, with those mods. Yeah. I'm going to beat your Ray. No problem. But I've never failed on a ray before. Because you're like three. Because you're you're honest. I think you're but you're below me. <laughs> you're 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 below me in Gak. Well, yeah. Have you ever watched me play Gak before? I don't know I, kids. No, I actually, I, I have not. I have not seen your. Uh, your um, come hang out with me sometime. You'll really cringe. Well, the the <laughs> problem is, it's it's not that I don't want to, or it's not. It's that you, when you stream your Gak, it's when I'm sleeping. Like a hundred percent, I I just can't. Um, oh yeah, you're good. Like but right no, now, I, right now it's like 5 a.m. So for me, um, so. my chat cringes all the time. They're always yelling at me. I never play it right. It drives them crazy. All right. So I, also another thing I think about is like I would rather put better mods on. I I know what you're about. I, like I know I know what you're about character. to say. I know what you're about to say, and I couldn't disagree with you more. <laughs> I, I, I get like, what you're saying. You want to elevate the GLs like are, GLs are going to do what you need to do, and yeah, you want to yeah. you want to upgrade the characters that aren't GLs so that they can do what you need to do because they need the mods more than your GLs do. Correct. And yeah. I, what I want to say is that's just a, a fallacy. That's a that's a flawed rationale. That's not that's you're, not a. Uh, I, I don't think that's true. Like GLs are stat you're, you're hungry. Also, yeah. You're also talking to somebody who thinks that you should sim in threes, fives, sevens. I believe in that as well. Okay. If you get better drop rates if you farm in threes and fives. <laughs> so <laughs> that drives Ignard's crazy. I don't I don't so I'm I'm not saying that you're wrong, right? Because like Yeah. I, I don't care about that, like to be completely honest. It doesn't I'm not the kind of guy um I don't track data like that. I don't track stats, I don't track um, I'm, I don't track timelines or anything. I'm, I'm, I may, I am like uh, in mods and, and stuff. I, I do believe in statistics, but I don't believe in like sweating over, um, things like that. Like, is it, does it matter if you sim in threes or 20? No, it doesn't. Right. If, if, if yeah. you, if you believe it does, then Hey, then do it. It doesn't like it's yeah. your time and you want to play the game, then do that. Um, I'm not, it doesn't bother me when people say that cause it, it doesn't matter. Like it doesn't, if you told all your viewers and you got all your viewers to sim in threes, it wouldn't, <laughs> it would not change the effect whatsoever. 
So I don't, right. I don't care if they, if they believe that, then, you know, then that's what they believe. And it's, even if it's a, um, a, what do you call it? A placebo effect, you know, because yeah, like uh, the sugar pill. Yeah. 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 Cause it, it, let's say I, I sim in 20 and you sim, sim in threes and then you got like three or four times you got like one. And then I just got, um, three and, and you would be like, you may have got like three or four and I got three and it would be the same. But to you, it felt better because three times you're like, oh, yeah, I got something. And then the times where you didn't, you were like, yeah, it's it's fine. I stimmed in three. So it just makes you feel better. Where if you see like the totality of it and you see 20 sims and you only get three and you're like, oh, man, that, what a rip off. <laughs> right. Yeah. And then it makes yeah, you pretty much. Yeah. And it makes you feel bad because you're like, oh, I did 20 sims. I only got three. And it's just like, it just doesn't feel good. And if you got like 20 Sims and you got zero, that really doesn't feel good. But if you do another 20 after that, you'd get like 10 or 12 or something. And then you're like, oh, okay, well, I got lucky once, you know, but it like, it all averages out. Yep. And that's the thing with threes. And if you do it in batches of three, batches of 20, it doesn't matter. Um, but if it yeah. makes it feel better for you, then do it. You know, it doesn't matter. Right. It's not, it's not hurting you. It, it drives a... Uh eggnards up the wall <laughs> which is, yeah. makes me want to do it even more so but yeah um so yeah I, like yeah I, I get that you you're going crazy over my quad may but yeah really i'm just um i don't have a lot left i'm not going to go for af af forever um i do need to do lv but we just discussed how i'd rather do ahsoka over lv anytime probably going to go balin after ahsoka um so and then probably go back to quad may so you only you only have like twenty characters non GLs over three hundred speeds. Yep. So you said that you didn't put your good mods on your GLs because you wanted them on your other characters, and that yep. turned out to be a lie. <laughs> well, it's not a lie. I'm it's, just, I'm it's, just it's, kidding. I don't have I'm, good mods. I'm, I'm just kidding. I just don't have good mods. I I hit, were... I hit you with the the Mari. Do you remember Mari? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the... Like you said this, and it turned out to be a lie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's got to hit I you with the Mari. Um, but I love no, Mari. I, I miss that show. Uh, but so here's the thing: like for four or five years, I wasn't buying mods or farming mods. I had one billion credits, so that's my, the detriment to to why I don't have good mods. I wasn't even thinking about buying mods, and I think someone looked and was like, "Why do you have a billion credits? Are you not buying them out of the store?" And I was just like, "Oh, you know what? That's." That's actually a good idea. And now well, I can't stay above 20 million. I'll say this. You spent a billion mod. Do you spend a billion credits? Yeah, I had. Well, I, okay. I had 800 million. You, so not quite. You spent 800 million credits? Yeah. On what? This was, a, this was a couple years ago, like two or three years ago. What did you spend it on? On uh, mods in the mod shop. But you got to remember. <laughs> you, I, I you think. Could, I don't, where'd, I don't where'd they go? Where where'd they go? I don't go? ever hit speed. Huh? I don't, where'd they I don't go? ever hit speed. Where'd you, where's all this? Where's the 800 million worth of mods here, Bones? Where'd, where'd you spend up, your money? You're like the guy who wins up, the lottery, and then you know you're working at like the gas station, and you're like, "What'd you do with all? What'd you do with 800 million? And they're like, "I spent it." Spending on crack. Yeah, I yep, spent it. Like, what, what'd you spend it on? Where's the stuff? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just I must have bad rolls or something, man. Because I never hit speed when I calibrate. I never hit speed on anything. Um, so I'll I'll say this: just, I never hit speed. I I promise you, if you follow my guides, you will hit speed every week. Bones, I hit like I farm twenty fives, thirties. Like this week, even this week, I have a I have like every week I get at least a one two three sometimes like multiple plus 25s like every single week i do it okay but okay i get like you have certain ones that you'd only roll or whatever but what i have i usually have enough have... what do you mean it's so like i have enough credits that i just roll everything with speed okay I, that's what i'm saying follow my me. guide bones follow my guide my guide isn't like hey guys captain amazing here any mod that has speed roll that well, I know that's you're not, not that's not what that. my god said. Like my god. If I if I have the ability to do that, then doesn't that increase my chance of hitting a good No, no. So bones. Bones. Do you know are you have are you familiar with the uh the term uh potential cost? Uh I don't know. Have you do you know what that means? Like if I'm if I'm like the potential cost of something, do you do you understand what I'm talking about? 
I mean, yeah. Are, are you just lying to me right now? It sounds like you don't I, know, but you just don't want to admit I mean, you don't know. I know what potential means, and I know what I'm, cost means. No, it's, so. it's, an, it's an action. It's an. It's a real thing. Like it's a term. I'm not. Okay. I'm not. I'm so not saying. I'm not saying. Do you understand the two words in their in isolation? <laughs> I'm saying together. Do you understand what potential cost means? No. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> so, because I, I, because what you're saying, what you said to me is what makes me think you don't understand potential cost. Because um, let's say you have uh, 200 slicing material or something of something, right? Um, if you spend that, if you roll every single mod that hits speed, then you won't have enough material to work something that has high potential to hit speed, right? Because like, oh, yeah. if, you, if you look at the averages, you have at any time, you have 25% to hit speed, like a 25% chance, right? To hit speed on a single yeah. mod. Um, unless you have five hits already, then it's like a 33.33%, correct? So if yeah. you if you have those 200 slicing materials, right? And you're like, yes. okay, well, if anything has speed, like if it's if it's four, four speed in a purple mod and it has speed, so I'm gonna roll it to gold on a chance that if it hits plus six, it's plus 10. And then I, I like take it to six dots and then I hit it again and it's plus 16 yeah. and I hit it again. It's like plus, you know, uh, 22. And then I hit again plus 28, right? You're like, hey, it's, yeah. it's a possibility. It can happen. Um, but you have to look at the potential cost of what that would cost. Because if you hit that roll that has a four speed at purple, how many of them are, would you have to hit before you hit five or six speed, right? And then how right. many of those would you have to take to six dot before you can hit another one? And then how many would you have to roll before you would hit another one after that? And then how many would you right. have to roll before you hit another one after that? So you have to look at like the potential cost of if you slice that mod that's purple with four speed, what could you have sliced else that could have had a better chance of being a good mod or a high potential uh, mod that didn't have to hit multiples at those high cost thresholds. And that's why I have uh, like slicing guides at every single tier of what, and at specific, like if you have three, two hits, three hits, four hits, five hits, etc., cetera, um, along all the different ways because they have different potential costs for each of them. And that's why they have different standards. Because otherwise I could just say, if you have two hits and 10 speed, slice it. If you have three hits and 14 speed, slice it. If you have four hits and you know 18 speed, slice it. Uh, I can't just say that about all of them because they have different potential costs or different costs associated at different levels. So you have to factor in the potential cost of what it would co uh, what you could get in lieu of that mod right because if i'm slicing like absolute garbage then you don't have the opportunity to slice good ones and if you slice a bunch of garbage like statistically you'll still hit speed but you're turning like crap into maybe like not horrible and then you're turning not horrible maybe into good but you're never working high potential like good into great and great into amazing if that makes sense so that's exactly what i'm doing so what you just said is is what i'm doing i guess what you would say wrong but when you don't have anything else to splice or roll up that you, falls underneath your category then it's you, just like well i don't have enough mods to even put on all my characters so why not try to take something that's mediocre and make it decent because yeah. you're again like the potential cost because I, I always tell people don't stop farming mods because every week I, I i and i cover this in my guides like um because i have a guide on like energy spending and how much new mods to slicing material you should farm because overall yeah. i farm like I, I farm complete sets like sets that are better than what you have on your characters right now in like two three weeks like complete sets for new characters um just out of scratch like stuff i make because i'm farming new mods and i'm only working high potential mods so i sell and clear the junk and i farm new things to get new mods and then i work those mods only if they have high potential so i'm farming like two three hundred mods every week i'm selling the junk and then i i like slice what is good and you're if you slice crap you're gonna get crap right you polish a turd right. it's still gonna be a turd 
So you have to yeah. farm, you have to farm new mods. And that's, that's why I make, uh, like, I don't have guides and people talk about like my, my plus 25 speed mod guides, um, because that's going to help you farm mods no matter what, like no matter if you have, um, like good farming, like uh, everything else you don't have, right? Like if you still follow that guide, you will still build some good mods overall if you're following those mod guides. But if you want to consistently b build good mods, I have those other guides that support that one on the entire system of like how you can consistently build good mods into your account over time. Like, and it, and it's like, yeah, there, there is like good luck, bad luck days. But for me, a bad week is like, oh, I farmed like two or three only plus 20 mods or something. And a good week is like, oh, I have like four or five plus 25 speed mods or something. So you want to go ahead. And Sorry. it's, and it's just like, you need a farm a volume of mods and just enough slicing material that you can work those high potential mods and then go from there. It's cause like all this stuff is, it's like, I stream all of it. It's not like I'm, I'm like, I'm doing some secret stuff on the back end. I'm not spending money on it or anything. I'm just, I have a system. I farm it. You have, you have Java, you have the income to do three mod refreshes a day. You, that's all you need to do. And if you follow my guides, then that's all you have to do. Cause even, um, like we're, we're pretty much like done with your account, but like it, it's little things too. Like, uh, you know, like for guild activity, are you coming here and buying this one right here every single day? It's like a hundred mark one and you get slicing material out of it. So in here, like under your, your credits one, like every four times yeah, a day. I, like mi I missed the raid. I'm not doing that, but I will start, but I, I missed the raid. <laughs> and so I don't have any guild currency right now. <laughs> like I can't, I can't help you on that efficiency, but like if you do your raid, you should have, cause as, as you can see, I'm like, I'm farming new stuff at a cyclic rate. I have like, tons of mark two tons of mark three tons of mark one like i i did just get my rate rate currencies but i pretty much i like i'm spending it at a rate where i'm, I'm like this isn't my bottlenecks of stuff like the the raid system is like very very generous you can see i have like tons of slicing material here like i, I i'm healthy um and you have the same amount of income i do i had imagined because where you you're exactly in the same place mm -hmm. i am you're probably getting first and fleets every day you're right there with me in um in in kyber i'm not, I'm not sure about raids you might be it looks like you get a lot more uh i, I only get the three. i get like three thousand mark three a week or something it's i get the 90k okay, that's about where i'm at 90 million box yeah so I, I'm I'm saying we we have the same amount of stuff like we we have the same exact things like what I farm, what you farm, exactly the same like what we get our incomes exactly the same. Yeah. Um. The difference is how are we using or spending those and like I I try to maximize everything and and try to and I and I I do probably just understand mods a little better in the system and. And the like the statistics about it and i i have a system oh, yeah. I, I put the least thought in this game as i can yeah and I, <laughs> so well, i'll I, start listen from now on uh, i got one question yeah. how much crystals do you spend on like farming mods a day i i do my three energy refreshes on every single energy that's it that's all like when i have conquests so, i so do those 50, three so so like i just I, I, my day just started because it's i haven't done I my twenty seven thousand crystals so you have like 1400 because it because it's like i i just i only spend crystals on these refreshes so yeah okay. um and then these these i'm healthy on too so like carbonite circuit boards bronze and wire rings See, I'm, i don't I'm, have any of those i don't have i, I have almost none I, I, I don't know what you're spending your stuff on but i i break these bottlenecks with crystals so that's what i spend my extra crystals on is these uh these 500 crystal packs here yeah, I, I buy those as well. So but I also have I have like three thousand crystals, but I I buy the first two. I buy the you just buy them all. Yeah, all the five hundred ones. Okay. Yeah, yeah. See, I, bought, I only I, do the first two. I the that's what I did. I I bought like I bought five hundred or I bought ten ten of every time it came around. I bought ten of each of them, um, and then I I stopped buying those and I started accumulating like all these crystals just because I, I broke the bottleneck. So as you can see, I have like tons of stuff to slice here as well. 
so like it's no longer a bottleneck for me because I, I pushed pack it, uh, past it. So right now my biggest bottleneck is like signal data is what I need. Um, and this stuff is not a bottleneck for me because I exceeded it. And it's it's when you exceed your bottlenecks, um, what you're doing is you're you're not only like getting that amount, but you're also saving the time where you're accumulating this stuff as well. So when I use those crystals to like push these out, what I did was it gave myself time to like start farming them as well. So now they're no longer like a, a bottleneck for me. Same thing as all these. Like I now I have all this income and I have time to farm all that stuff while I'm while these deplete. And I can and I and pretty much I just like I farm one big farm at a time. So for relic eight, relic nine. So these relic nine materials are for um, the quad may farm. This I have enough impulse detectors to unlock Leia as well. So pretty much I have everything I need to finish my quad may and my Leia farm right now. And pretty much a Jedi Knight Calcastus as well as well, including the um, the Mark II like uh, gear pieces as well. So. I just I just progress really quickly, even like these gear pieces as well. So, so the, the reason I wasn't buying those other five hundreds on the ones past the bronzium is just I didn't think it was what you guys you would say ROI. I, I don't. So I, didn't I think don't. They were, They're good. Oh, they, they are good, but I don't buy them. The only thing I buy are the the CCBs and bronzium wirings. I use my okay, Mark threes on buying um, these pieces in here. So that that's how I buy them. Like I I buy the electrum conductors. I buy zimbittles. Um, I don't buy heat sinks, but I, I will buy impulse detectors here. So I buy impulse detectors, electrum conductors, and biddles. So biddles is such a good price on that. Yeah, I so, buy those all the time. Yeah, yeah but same I ones. I stay kind of here, so I try to stay around like two hundred zimbittles, four hundred electrum conductors, as many impulse detectors as I need. Arrow magnifiers, I don't need to buy because I get them passively, and then erodium heat sinks, I just do the Mark III uh, hollow projectors. But it does suck for me because I just spent 17k crystals because I was hoarding on fucking making sure I got sorry for the language mm. on uh Jar Jar. Um, well, I did, I did have uh 50k crystals. I spent, I spent like 25 recently. Um, once they, once they released um that we weren't getting a ship like the new ship, I spent like a ton of crystals and then I got all my fleets up and running. So I, I like seven star profundity. I spent literally all my um all my prestige on executrix radis and profundity got them all like maxed out so because i was hoarding. i've never had i've never had over 20 or 25 i think uh the i had like four thousand or something prestige no i mean uh 25k crystals oh you know, crystals yeah i i just yeah. i get more than i spend and honestly i a lot of it is um, if you just, my daily income keeps me like 10 over, like I get an excess of like 10 crystals where I get all the, where I start com like compiling them is from grand arena. So like my, when I win, it's like, right, like 800 or something, 825. And I win probably like five out of four. So that's like five every week, like 5,000 or, or like every month, like 5,000 extra crystals plus like the 2000 plus tb plus all those things and that stuff like adds up over a month i i save like i don't know accumulate 10,000 15,000 something like that okay so. yeah i also the um what the territory battles that they pay out of pretty yeah, good yeah amount? that's what i'm saying like tw tb yeah. all those things like gives me crystals all those are just like extra and that's where i get them because i i pretty much only spend crystals on refreshes at this point well after today i will go watch your guide and i'll yeah. do the captain amazing way and we'll see maybe we'll check back again in a few months i'm, I'm six telling months you or so yeah so watch my watch my plus 25 speed mods watch how i like split energy um and then that's that's all you need like you'll you have java if you if you farm quad me then you'll get slicing material from there too. Like that, they have free slice. I don't have it yet, but that's why I'm farm part of the reason why. And then the other reason is like the credits I could farm more because I don't farm mods out of here using normal credits. Like these credits I use are for when I work my mods 
Um, cause I'm, I'm a, tomorrow I'll work my mods and then it'll be zero. Anything left I have, I put towards characters. So I, I don't buy mods with normal credits cause I, I haven't hit that point yet. Maybe once I get the quad may farm and I get like 21 million extra credits a month, I can start doing that. And then I, I use ship credits for buying mods. So I, I buy, I'll buy them with those. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, you farm your Ufus and I will farm Quad May, okay? Well, you, you, don't, you don't have to, but um, I, it, <laughs> it, it, it would, I'm it just is, messing with you. Yeah, because um, I, I, like, I, I do have my farming pathway, and I'll, I'll show you here. I, do, I am very like uh, organized, but like, I'm going to farm Quad May here, then uh, Leia. Uh, and the, at this point, this is where it starts being flexible, like Gungans, Jedi Knight, Calcastus, Ufus, Bo-Katan. And then I, I do have to get like Marin, Zori, Bad Batch. That's that kind of stuff. But um, you know, it's like it's all in the works. It's all in the process. You gotta you gotta build it, get get to where you need to to go with it. Well, you're kicking butt, man. Like you'll you're gonna be in Kyber one with a couple more GLs. Nah, no, I don't more. know. It's at that point it's all like Datacron stuff. And I'm I'm like I, I kind of farm Datacrons a little bit, but I'm not like You'll super big into them. So I, I have like some of them. All these are like thick crons and then I, I have some decent ones, but I'm not, I'm not like heavy into it. Not like Kyber one level. Yeah. So yeah, that, that, I feel like that'd be stressful. The Kyber one thing yeah. it just seems I, stressful. It's uh, honestly, Kyber one is not a goal for me. It, it really isn't. So if I hit it, I hit it. Um, I, I think it's inevitable, right? Cause I'm already 9.5 million and I'm, I'm, punching up into like the where you're like you know farther than accounts like yeah. yours that you have said you're higher than mine you said you're higher than mine i have two gls more than you i think yeah uh i'm at three thousand thirty four hundred fourteen. you're at what like 33 um, something just a second let me look real quick um i am at 3386 so yeah you're above me yeah two so, less gls well less one less yeah, legendary you're, 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 you're the account that I fear when I see like someone that's less than my GP. I'm like, oh, here we go. And I usually yeah. <laughs> nine times out of 10 lose to you guys. <laughs> well, yeah, that's this. Well, this guy, this guy, like, uh, remember I told you this, uh, this guy, he's like, are you the uh, captain amazing? And I was like, Hey, how are you? And he said, uh, he's like, I'm, I'm a bit nervous about battling a contest creator. Please don't expect too much. I'm more of a PVE guy. Good luck. But like, look at this guy's account. Like he's this is my opponent, you know. Like, like this guy's at. I honestly feel like I've fought in the guy. Yeah, in Heiner, 11, very, yeah he's eleven point three million GP. He has like all the GLs, all the all the GL ships. All right, I think he's missing Lord Vader, but like very similar to your account, pretty much. Like, like all all the things Jar Jar. Like, like this dude. This dude like stomps my account in size. I'm like much smaller than this guy. But he's like, be kind to me. I'm like, dude, you're, <laughs> like, you're like, you're, you're the, you're the Goliath here. You know, I'm David. <laughs> I'm the little guy. You know. So have you fought very many 13 million accounts? I, I'm in the same place you are, man. Like I, I fight the same stuff you fight. Because all, all I've fought lately is 12. I've, I've fought about three 13 million accounts in the last month. Um, I, I've um, seen the spread is usually like 10 to 14. I've seen so it's, like it's but usually probably crazy. around this like all the, all the gls all the gl ships like all the things is usually what i see so what they're missing is usually like yeah maybe some legendaries maybe like the newest things maybe maybe some small things they're missing honestly this guy is much smaller than what i i usually see like uh, this guy's missing a gl he's uh he only has he's missing some things so uh, he doesn't yeah, have. I, fought... yeah. I was gonna say I fought two thirteen millions in a row. I beat the first one and got stomped by the second one. Yeah, so this guy doesn't have bad batch. He doesn't have Afra. He doesn't have DTMG trench. So this L three. So this is much smaller than what I'm used to actually. So usually all the guys I face, they just have like everything. That that's pretty much the the for the top of kyber 2 mid top like that's pretty average is you just you just have everything what they're usually lacking is like datacrons but this guy has like decent datacrons too um i don't know what his speeds are to be you know like probably fine 
Yeah, I, I go pretty hard on Datacrons. Once again, I never get any good rolls, but I go pretty hard on Datacrons, even though I hate them. I, I do despise the idea of them, but it's like they're in the game. You got to do it. So yeah, but this guy's account is like perfectly fine. But that, that's what I'm facing. Like I don't know. Like I I don't I have a very I I I still think I have a small account. I really do. Like it's not it's not big. It's I just got my fifth GL. I I do have decent fleets. But I, I'm missing it's not, like it's not about the size; it's what you do with it, man. <laughs> I I will say probably my greatest strength is like my um, where a lot of people struggle in this game is not it's it's execution. Like I am really good at just like I understand the kits, I understand how to play the the matches, so I I I could use what I have, and if there's a chance for me to win, like I'll just. I'll, I'll i'll shoot my shot and and i'm every time i win i'm surprised is what i'll say because i like it's hard it's hard and it, it gets it really does get tiring like it really does um facing accounts that just like have everything where i i don't have very many things so i just have to kind of yeah. like hope hope they mess up and i have to be perfect and that's it like every it's like every single game i have one it's like a football game it's like I all I have is the Hail Mary. That's it. I can't run the ball. I can't do <laughs> I can't do short passes. I got yeah. one move. And it's like I can do the Hail Mary and that is it. And then it's like, wow, this guy's really good. And I, I just have a really good ca- quarterback, I guess. I don't know, with a great arm. But yeah. that, like I, I got one move and then you you shoot your shot and that's it. Like I got the Hail Mary. And if I can if I can play it perfect and it, everything lines up, then I win. And it, it, and five out of four times I do that, and that's that's it. So that's how it might have been the last few matches where they one shot everything. <clears throat> so obviously I have to do that, but <clears throat> I'll do everything right against the hardest hardest teams. Then I'll get in the back and like I tripped up like on a Zori team, even though I faced it a million times. That actually that I, happened to me last time. I like <clears throat> full cleared everything, like five GLs, all the good teams, and then it was like general grievous like a g- vanilla general grievous and i dropped the battle because I, I took in like um jedi knight revan with jedi knight luke and like a decent jedi team and they just died like you know like he just like it, his life was like at an inch and then all of a sudden they just like ran a turn meter train and i lost and i was like are you kidding me i had i had like gl ray i had a cls i had a bunch of stuff i just i was like yeah jedi knight revan with jedi knight luke like that's a guaranteed win right there and i just went in and lost to like vanilla grievous yeah. I, I still won, i still won the match because he couldn't clear Levi. like he dropped on leviathan or something and i i like beat him through efficiency but um sometimes yeah it's just like the dumbest things you lose to so. Like GLs don't scare me. They don't scare me. It's the other team. Zori only really scares me. Believe believe um, it or not, Lord Vader. Lord Vader scares me. That's the one where it's like, um, that like I sometimes I just drop a battle on him, and it's like really annoying. And that's why people say like Lord Failure, but like he there's a lot of times where he like there's he holds the most out of all GLs. Like you look at the defensive stats, like he is maybe because he's uh like people do the weirdest stuff with him, but he's. He like he's pretty sneaky. He's pretty good. All right, but uh, but uh, let's let's call it there. It's been it's been this was a long one. <laughs> I think <laughs> you and I, happens, man, yeah, yeah you, you and I both are talkers. So and usually I'm the one where where people are like, well, yeah, that's uh, <laughs> it's a good <laughs> you know like um, but I I get I can talk for forever. So but I do Same I have brother. to go. It's almost 6 a.m. I got to go walk my dog. <laughs> if you can't tell, my wife's like, when the fuck are you? Sorry, yeah. man, about the F word. No, okay. When the heck are you getting out of there? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I got to go as well, man. But I, I had a blast hanging out with you. Let's do yeah. this again. Yeah, it's Maybe, fun. Uh, um, but, yeah, I, good advice too, man. I will definitely check out your video on the mods, and I'll, I'll start doing that because they are atrocious, and they've been atrocious. Yeah. That's the biggest uh, flaw in my my roster well, so and that's that's honestly like the biggest thing that's harder to explain to people is potential cost and usually it's people like matthias who are just like so confidently loud and I'm, I'm not saying he's like confidently wrong but like a lot of times they're just like so confidently wrong about like this doesn't make sense and if you it's all just luck anyways and you just got to slice whatever and you know sometimes you'll get good days and sometimes you'll get bad days and i'm like yeah there's there's luck involved but you know if people who follow my guide suddenly get lucky all the time maybe 
you know, there's something to not, it's not just luck. There's like statistics in it and like understanding potential costs and high uh, potential mods. And, and if you work them right, like you'll, you'll build good mods consistently. So I think, uh, yeah, cause, cause I don't make content for to teach anybody. I always say, I'll teach you what not to do. If yeah. you just watch me, <laughs> you'll learn what not to do in it. Cause I do everything wrong. Well, if but, you, uh, and if you just, it's, yeah. it's not like I spend a ton of time on my mods, you know, it's like, it, it yeah. takes me like 10, 15 minutes a week to, to slice my stuff. Like, and most of the time is it takes that long because I'm just explaining it to people. Like if I, if I do it off stream, it's like 10 minutes at most a week of mod work and that's it. So, okay. yeah, yeah, well, that shouldn't be a problem, man. I'll, yeah. I think I tried, like, I just always got, I hated farming mods cause it was always like gray and green. Mm -hmm. And I was like, it's just, it was, I was like, all right, I'm wasting my time here. So that's why. Grays, like, grays like and greens farming. are good. That's where I get a lot of my stuff. So you got to, really? yeah, okay. yeah. Follow, follow the guide. Just follow the guide and you'll, it'll lead I'm you literally going to, I'm going to hang out with the wife. I'm going to watch it here tonight. All right. And, all right. Uh, try. As of today, man, I'm going to go the, the Captain Amazing way. So. All right. If you, if you have questions, just hit me up. <laughs> All right, All right brother. Well, yeah, let's get off here. It's been All long, right. but I appreciate you, man. Thank you for having me on. Uh, let's do it again sometime. Um, but yeah, get, right. get those oofus right. up, man. All right, and then uh, I'll like I'll link your YouTube on here. So if you want to subscribe to Bones, he's going to be in the description. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to him. Uh, thanks for hanging out, and then we'll see you next time. Take care. Peace.